in the world. It's me. It's me, this guy, <laughs> forever as in here. And we are back. We are back for another Genshin Impact stream. Um, I hope you guys and ladies are excited around beautiful. the world. And Surely we will enough begin to shortly. To become just a making sure that everything sounds alright, works alright, uh, before we can even begin. And uh, yeah. Everything will be done in due time. Don't you worry. Um, let's make sure that everything is uh, set up. We, we don't have any hitchups along the way. That would be quite unfortunate. But yeah, um, let me just uh, get this thing prepped up. My first time using a camera, so bear with me. Bear with me, guys. <laughs> okay. Everything seems to be going alright. No hiccups along the way. Okay. I'm just, I'm just like hearing, hearing my voice, that's... <laughs> okay, yeah, you get yeah, the shush. Thank you very much. Alright. Well. I guess it's time now. I guess it's time. Alright. Um, but yeah. Just making sure that everything is alright before we can move on. Uh... There are leaves around, and I know just yep. the tune to accompany them, if you wish to hear it. Yeah, thank you, Kaza. <laughs> All right. So, lads and ladies around the world, um, we are back, as I said, for another Genshin Impact stream. In the last stream, we actually uncovered um, some more of the map, it seems. <laughs> I had to explore some more, but my good buddy Radish in the chat helped, helped me in this very world much, I so I uh, if you're watching the vlog afterward, my dude, thank you very much for blade. what you've done. <laughs> it is the last link I have to the land of my birth. But, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm trying to... Uh, make sure that everything seems um, all right. And when it comes to the map that we have at the moment, um, well, if you look at what we have here, um, we are at hundred percent completion on the Bell region, on the Bellow region. Uh, in the Quarter Fontaine, we are at the seventy-one percent, but. We barely touched the Fountain Research Institute of Genetic Energy Engineering region. So, after the Court of Fontaine, I suppose that we'll have to tackle this specific region here. And as I think, as I might think here, yeah, uh, it might be related to a world quest. Let me just make sure that, uh, yeah, here. The Fountain Research Institute Chronicles. So this is supposed to be something that we'll have to tackle later on. So I, I can't I can't wait. I can't wait for for that for that part when it comes. Uh, because I'm sure that will give us even more lore uh, compared with what we have right now. Even though what we have right now is definitely interesting, right? interesting and as it turns out we have these guys here. I saw them before. They were on the boat. Uh, well, they were on the boat in, in this part, in between the burial region and the bell region, but I didn't know what they were doing on the boat. But they mentioned a name. They mentioned a name that uh, was supposed to be, uh, well, Virgil, and know just the we, to accompany them. we definitely if know Virgil. He is um, quite a specimen, I would say. 
And I think from where they are here, it seems that maybe they are looking for Virgil. And if they are, well, I'd be more than happy to help them out. <laughs> yep, I'll be more, more than happy to help them out. That's a given. But yeah, um, let's just make sure that everything seems alright before we start. Um, I don't know if uh, the volume is there. If, um, yeah, if the volume is good enough for people, for the followers, but hey. We'll see how it comes, I mean, how it goes later. This scenery is wonderful. Um, Surely enough yeah. to convince anyone to become a wanderer. Alright. Well, without further ado, guys, since I think we've delayed long enough, I'm going to start the stream and we'll see how that goes. Um, I'll just have to put my chat here so that I don't have any parts that are well problematic in the long term. Alright. Well first and foremost, um let's go this way. Alright. Uh let's see. So we have some mail here. Right. Let's get this. Okay. Uh, we also have that. Ten. Let's go. Alright. That's out of the way. And I think that we also have the uh, Lost Riches to continue, right? The epilogue, it seems. Huh. Nice. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, so the last two parts are unlocked, so I guess we'll see. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, so this... Where that might be? Not quite sure. Is it somewhere I've already been? Quite sure. Okay. Well, uh. Alright, so I think we're going to start with the uh, Last Riches events. Well, with that being done, I'm sure that we will be able to move on uh, from that specific endeavor. But before we do that, um, I have to make sure that everything is alright with my Statue of the Seven here in Fontaine, because we've messed quite a lot of uh, Hydroculi, and I'm sure that uh, if there is even a... Uh, well, whatever. Doesn't really matter, it seems. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Alright, let's have a look. I have five of these, five of those. Um, what about the wishes? Is Raiden available yet? Or is it still Nadia? Oh, in two days. Okay. In two days. Okay. Um, so let's start with the Lost Wishes events. Um, so where might the fight? Where could it be? Uh, let me have a look see. Alright. Well, maybe. Maybe it's somewhere here. 
I suppose. We'll have a look. Oh, my eyes. <laughs> Alright. Uh, but yeah, I'm quite excited to see how much more lore that we are going to be able to get through um, these two guys. I don't I don't know their names right now, but I'm sure uh, that when we are acquainted with them, we will definitely know their names. And I think they are also related to the Knowledge Center Zoldo, but that I am quite sure. But I guess we'll see. Alright. Butterfly. Pick up this. Pick up that. Boom. Yeah, I've already completed this region, so I don't think there's any more things that you have to do. Um, um, hello, Antoine. Uh, oh, so are you the one that is um, <laughs> supposed to uh, make all these, um, yeah, these ships. Well, uh, nice to meet you, my dude. Humans should break free of the shackles of the earth and soar into the skies. Don't you think so, too? Yeah. Uh, uh y you are? Antoine Rogers, the name. And Clockwork Engineering is the Okay, yeah. My specialty, the etern eternal dream of humanity. Flight. Now, you might be curious, and rightly so, as to how this might be different from Edwin Istinghouse's research. In which case, let me explain. Let me explain. I generate propulsion using energy converted from the annihilation re reaction between Numa and Utia, which powers my aircraft's movement. Yeah, we've definitely uh, uncovered your secrets, sir, Antoine. What do you think? If you'd like to, do it, to give it a try, hop aboard the Antoine Roger aircraft and activate it using an annihilation reaction. Yeah, we've already done so, so... Uh, I guess uh, that's pretty much done and dusted. It will move along the designated path Accident free travel guaranteed. Accident free? Really? Is this work for the Fontaine Research Institute? Uh, what are you talking about? The Institute has been rendered a ruin. I've been there, but it's not quite that destroyed yet. Its capacity, its capacity for research has been lost. All that remains is the official agency. But what cannot be denied is that many independent engineers, of whom I am one, still use kinetic cores designed by Giotta, the Institute's founder. So Giotta is the Institute's founder, okay. The aircraft is merely one step in the realization of my goals. My final objective is the creation of sufficiently powerful and affordable kinetic cores. I wish to attain greatness like that of Giotta, and build something that can change Fontaine. Imagine a nation as I envision it, dear friend. Humans freed from gravity, free to fly through the skies. Clockwork Mecha shall perform all the labor we need on the ground, while we, having primacy over all other things, shall be freed from such. We shall be free to think, to produce art, develop culture. Is this not lovely? Well, yeah, it, it is. It is. Well, uh, <laughs> nice meeting you again, Antoine. What a weirdo. But, uh, yeah, I suppose that our greatest endeavor as a species was to soar through the skies, but um, 
sometimes it's best to first have your feet on the ground before moving forward. Uh, from what I saw on the map, this seems to be this seems to be um what we call it? Yeah, um, a temple or at least something similar. I don't know yet. It's supposed to be that way, so let me have a look. By the way, if you guys are new to the stream, and if there are new lurchers in the stream as well, please make sure to leave a follow as you may not want to miss any further streams from me in the future. What? I'm in... Okay. Just join my way. Nothing to fear. Okay. Look at these though. Oh, so cute. Alright. Oh. Um. Uh, Alright. So we've been here, it seems. Continue moving forward, it will show I have something for you. No, not yet. Well, it seems that that didn't work as expected, but it's fine! Alright. Well, that's out of the way. Rain outlines your fate. Mm -hmm. So I have to work on this specific tower here. I suppose. Why is there a cannon here? What are they doing? Am I supposed to help them dance? Yeah. Oh, no. I disrupted their I ritual, you. whatever that was. Speed of light. <laughs> Every day. And we have also slimes Wait. here to take care of. Don't blink. There. This. Uh, maybe. No, my sword. I. No. Okay. But why? There are so many cannons here. Is. Is this cannon operable? But for what? What do you want me to destroy? <laughs> Wait. Let me see. Dangerous Odor Cannons Dangerous Odor Cannons A weapon that mostly appears near sunken ships Yeah, we've encountered some When a character appears within its line of sight and attack range It will lock on and attack In most circumstances We can follow the energy flow to, the, to find the missing crystal receiver nodes For the anti-Odor anti Cannons not the entire cannons, whatever. After inserting the knots into the ship's cannons, and by continually releasing the xenochromatic ball octopus energy at them, the ship's other cannon control permissions can be overridden. It will then cease attaching characters and can be manually controlled. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so, does that mean that I can manually control that that bye boy here. I need a node, right? Okay. Um so let's say let's say Time that I do this. No? Wait. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, is it because of this here? Alright. So far, so good. 
Where? Tw Twenty. Oh gee. No 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 no. Do not attack me, please. I am just a wandering traveler. Nothing much. Nothing more. Please do not. Oh. Oh no no. <laughs> well that. They were trying to kill me. Really Once trying to kill me. To my face. It's because wait, there's another one. Okay. Oh gee. Wait, wait, wait. This is not good. <laughs> okay. So far, so good. Can I climb onto this? Woo! <laughs> okay. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Wait. In here? Are there any? No? Okay. What? What is this though? So this is the second, I suppose? And there's a final one I, I guess. What is this? Okay, quickly. Oh they're trying to attack me, huh? Come on. Go down. Move up. Go down. Move up. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. This this is not good. They're trying to attack me. They have a a hydro resistance. Oh wait. I I see more. Where's the last one? Oh, over there. On. So far, so good. Follow the Do it. Do <sighs> what? <laughs> Where? Really? Move away. Move, move, move. For crying out loud. Okay, okay. Get, let's get out of here. Let's let's get out. Let's. Wow. Rain okay. outlines your fate. Oh, these cannons are no joke. <laughs> Into the wind. Okay. Gonna hydrocolis out of this. So let's get to see. Someone was just here. I can't believe we've run into someone with better, better, excuse me, better archaeological exploration jobs than us. Is that a pocket watch on the ground? If this is anything like our usual adventures, we should take a look at the stone tablet. Hello, this place is the Orphan of Souls, the Shrine of Souls, the Room of Souls. I accompany, I accompany you in eternal rest, born in an instant, often contradicting, always united. I am life's most cherished treasure. Elementary, my dear friend. <laughs> um, a valuable project pocket watch? And one of life's treasures? Ooh, Paimon knows, it's gotta be Mora. I'm not sure about that. You're right, the answer to a riddle wouldn't be so tacky. That must be 
um, what's the word? Right, wealth. Wonderful. That's one answer we can count out. Come on. Why don't you just trust Paimon? Well, it's just so smart. What do you think it is? Well, definitely it's not wealth nor more. So that, that is definitely something that you can count out. I'm on so stop asking about it. Uh, it's not important. Let's go deeper and have a look. Hey, just admit that you don't know, don't know either. I'm not. Well, why not just because you're embarrassed? Wait up. Nymph's consistency. Uh, Nymph's constancy. Okay. Is there any. Uh, what is that part of what you're doing? Nope. Not that. Um, how do we go? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm starting to get balls around here. Uh, I think it's one of the artifacts, right? So let's have a look. So where is it? Oh, here. Okay. Uh, Nymph's Constancy and Sense of Eon. What does that say? A pocket watch that has long stopped working seems to have borne witness to many a passing year as it hands spun in vain. Okay. Um, Hydro damage bonus. Then string. Well, don't know if it if it um, if it runs on crit damage and uh, crit rate, that'd be good. But apart from that, yeah. I guess we'll see. This scenery is uh, well. I don't know if I can heal in the water or not. Alright. Is there I think there's a waypoint there. Yeah, that's right. Let's get this. Alright. Cannons again. You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> Fair enough, I suppose. But I think that um, I have to get this. And this uh, cannon is targeting me, so. I have to go away. <laughs> Seems. Oh no, no 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 no! Don't do not do not do this, please and thank you. As to how I'm going to get this, I need that. What? Oh come on! You have to. Be... All right, fair enough. I have to be swift about it. That's one. Now I need a... Uh, Numa, I think? Where can I get a Numa... Arch alignment? Hmm... Let's have a look. Oh, energy flow. Uh, within these ruins, there are strange water-colored energy flows that seem to follow established channels as they flow along. Additionally, there are devices on the traps that can gather these energy flows. Um, these strange devices can even use lifts 
to transfer these flows to high or low level channels. The final goal seems to be to drive this energy into the large machine in the middle of the ruins. I see. I see, I see. Uh, I did it. I did it. But, uh, I don't. I don't. Yeah. Please and Finch, do not try to kill me. I have so much to live for. What is this? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I overread um I have overridden um this guy so this time good on that front. That is interesting to say the least. Now let's operate this one here. Uh I have yeah move this out again. Again, um, fire. Wait. Fire. Um. I don't know why I have to do this, but okay. Uh, can I? Where do you want me to shoot? Okay, let's do this. Nice and spicy. That's definitely for me. Um, what's there? Oh, yes, there is. Get. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. So this Numa reaction is going to be here. And this Usia one is going to be over here. That's another chest in the box. Okay. Um, anything else? Okay, and I think with this one it might be the same. I have to release it as well. Not to connect it to the water channels. Oh, uh, do you mean that I need this? Alright. Push it a little further. Again. And. There. Now. Nice. Okay. So, yeah, what was that again? Energy flow 1. Uh, okay. So that was for the cannons. 
and then she flew two with this thing here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> On the channels required for energy to flow, sometimes corners will have dispatch devices that can adjust energy flow direction. Based on their shape, you may be able to determine the direction the energy will flow. And there are often mechanisms to change the direction of these dispatch devices nearby. Okay? So, I suppose that I can move on over that way then, right? Crystal Cr flies! Where, where are you? No, my no not you, Cos. <laughs> The wind knows me. Yeah. <sighs> Fair enough. Alright, let's have a look. How... Fine then. Um, uh, so you have Clockwork Mechas here. I'm not supposed to be here, it seems, but I need also, <laughs> and I also need the key. Of course, I need the key. Of course. Then again. Change this. No. What about this? Not as well. So, what do you use um, that specific ability for? Is there something that I had to do with this uh, thing specifically that I don't know about? I'll change that for the moment, and I'm going to fight these uh, uh, dogs here. I that see need everything. to be taught a little. Uh, oh, hello. Ah. Two. Uh -huh. There. Okay. Just staying here until uh, this works all right. Mm -hmm. This the tracks here seems to be seem to be uh, destroyed, but I don't know what is the cause. Oh, excerpt. Uh, not only do we share the same resilient skin, but the same divine essence flows within our veins. As there, as there is one wisdom, one melody, so too are our wills one. Comrades, we are the hands and legs, the shield and sword, roots and leaves, spring and stream. We should draw near to each other, even unto our outlanders must these be so. Copied from the Sound of Serenity movement, movement 2 stanza 84. The Sound of Serenity. Is it? Is it something like Sumeru? Ah. Nothing here? Why is there... Sometimes I don't understand stuff. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. Okay. 
Oh, what's this? The looking glass. Um, what, what do I call? This lift is already on this floor. Oh, but I need to go up. I'm not going to go up right now. I still need to see if there are anything worth investing. I see everything. So is that another lift as well? Yeah. Seems to be another lift. here anyway. Small truck as well. That. Old Mert's pal. Well, it seems that um, I don't have any way to figure out how or what I'm supposed to do regarding this specific uh, place. I guess that what I'll do is that um, I'll come back maybe. I need the key, but I didn't find the key yet. Mm. Is this supposed to be through the looking glass or something? Don't know. Track with this as well. Alright. Let's have a look. <laughs> so we have this looking glass here, and I don't know what it is for. But uh, wait, 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 what? Is that is that another library? Let me have a look. Let me let me let me go this way. <clears throat> yeah. What is this? Wait, not not this way. Move out. So we came from here. What? Look at this. Is that? Huh. What is... <laughs> yeah, this? This here? Um... Rain outlines your fate. It's marked, it seems. Weird. Are we... Wait, where are we right now? We on... Oh, I see. So it's like... So that... Okay, uh, let, let me... Let me... Uh, let me... Uh, let me process this. So... So through the, the, the looking glass, right? 
you're able to teleport, you know, basically teleport, um, through different ver different places all at once. That's crazy, though. Wow. Didn't, didn't expect this, to be honest. So where does that lead me this time? Oh? Okay, um... Oh, so this is the place. I see. Well, let's get this special key that I'm going to get. Thank you very much. And I'm going to release this as well. Not yet connected to other water channels. Oh, I see, I see. I see what I have to do right now. Call. Yeah. And as soon as the lift calls, I'm in the list calls. Alright, hands in. Yep. That's another day. Since the lift is here now, let's release this. And of course, this one trans my way to say hello. Because why not? Alright. So. Since that one has been, uh, it's been, well, imbued with, uh, this, uh, whatever, this water, I suppose, I have to go down with it. And then, I'm going to release. Okay. Uh, what? What does that do? Oh, because I have the key. Yeah, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. And the, this door opened as well. Nice. Uh, let's not release. No, no, go down, go down. Not release. And now, let's uh, release that one as well. Get all you this. Give, you receive. Let's move on. Um, so this one seems to be connected. Okay, let me let me, let me have a look. Why is Non-destructible wall. It seems. Okay. I thought this would be something indestructible, but it doesn't seem like it's the case, unfortunately. Well, it's fine. Um, let's uh go down. All right. Uh, where does that lead us to? Uh, oh, okay. It's underwater. Fair enough. Um, let's let's see our this part here. Let's make sure that we don't miss anything that could be interesting to uncover this puzzle. Do not change the direct. Uh, wait, these are already connected. Okay, uh, what about this? So this is. Um, okay, but why do I need this? I thought we could go through this, but 
Oh, I thought it may with top. Um, is there anything else of value here? I may not know that should um, help us discover what we have to do here. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I know what to do. I know. So, I'm going to do this. Alright. I'm going to come here. I'm going to make this. Then I'm going to release this. And now, I have to deal with these dogs here. I guess why not. Alright. Okay. Um. Yeah, I I thought I thought this would the water levels would not go into subside, but seems that's not the case at the moment. So, guess I'm good. Who says there aren't benefits to a life of one? Um. Nope. Wait. Stop. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Let me, let me go back. I have to get all of these to make sure that there's nothing that I didn't miss. So now that this lift is filled with, uh, well, water, I think. I think this is water. Now I can definitely release that part here. And what does what is going to do is going to happen? Oh, there's a chest here, I suppose. Oh, ooh, well, that's definitely worth it. Oh, the jury's chest, Jimmy. Jimmy. Wait, there seems to be the night. I go into the wind. Check. All right. You carefully inspect the top of the mechanism, but you didn't find anything. There's nothing here. Oh no! It looks like someone already took whatever was here. You mean the jury's chest? No. We already found it, Paimon. We've already found it. What? Did... I don't understand what you mean. Sometime, Paimon, but. I think that there might be something wrong with your head, or your brain, or whatever that is. But who? Who indeed? And where am I supposed to go right now? Have we, have we started like uh, a world quest or something? I don't know. We'll just uh, maybe find the theories of some stuff. I don't know. Um. Mm, mm, mm. Let's have a look. Let's go. I want to go through here again for the looking glass. I think there has been some stuff that I don't understand, like this specific thing here. Why, why is it here? It's look, it looks like a silly, but it's not a silly. Because we already, we've already seen what um, pirate sillies before, but this one is different. That's interesting to say the least. Hmm. Maybe if, maybe if we light all of these torches. Wait, let me, let me change. My party real quick. I'm going to put Ember. Yeah, I'm going to put Ember because uh, I think that this is going to help us specifically through this uh, part. I'm going to switch that because of her. Alright. Alright, Ember. That. Uh, see? 
Now there's something. What? Can I go through here? Where's, where's this? Um. Alright. Well. Let's go back. Need, we don't need the Amber anymore. We only need Charles Hassel. Let's have a look. Let's do this. Want me to come along? Alright. It's like it's like um how should I say this? It's like a lost Amber or something. I don't know if it's an experiment or something similar, but I don't know. Mm. Where, where did it go? I don't know where it went. Wait. That that octopus didn't wasn't uh wasn't there before, right? what you get. <clears throat> this is weird though. Like, where did that, um, like, fire silly thing went? It went through a picture or yeah yeah a picture see that and it should be somewhere that I've already been right that but I don't know where it might be Not here. I would have known otherwise. Time to go. So it's not here. Okay. So if it's not here, what should where should it be? 
through the looking glass. What if it's over there? Maybe? Time to go. Crazy though. Um, <laughs> I guess it gets tailored to quest, but as I don't know what quest is supposed to be for, let's say, well, I'm at a loss, like, I don't, I don't know where that little, that little thing went, I don't know if it's close, if it's far, or if it's just outside, or, I don't know. I have to look at the picture again, I think. Yeah. Let's go look at it again. Seems that, uh... We will have some more explanation, I suppose. Like, I really have to look at it carefully. Where... Where... Where is that place? Switch off the lights here. Oh. Wait. Let's let's do this again. So this is still the only way forward. Even though I uh, switched off all the lights. Okay. Fair enough. thing goes upstairs. Well, yeah. That thing goes upstairs, so yes. This a single place here that would suit uh, the the picture. Uh, I think I don't. I mean, I don't think so. To be honest, I don't know where would that supposed to be. I think. Um, yeah, I think it might be at the entrance. Alright. Because it, it doesn't seem to be 
on the Wulcher. Let's have a look. Automated cannons all right here, so uh, Okay This waypoint here. Uh, so the temple seems to be in the vicinity. Yeah, okay, there it is. A Fatui camp. These aren't new. I haven't fought these guys yet. Or at least I don't think so. Time to act. Wait. Oh, that was here. Okay. Let's unlock the waterfall. What is that? What is this? Sounds of the past, okay. Nighttime whispers in the echoing woods. Alright. So, what's a full win? So, that's another waypoint added. And there's um, a silly here. And the Fatui as well. Alright, silly, do your way. Oh, let me see a high doctor list here. We'll take that one as well. Time to fly. Thank you for the chest. Greatly appreciate it. Oh. Out of the way, let's get to this here. Pause her. Into the wind. So good. And there you go. Another hydroxylis in the books. Mm. A lot it's a lot of fatuis here. It seems. Let me see the uh, last riches events. I want to make sure that I know where this place is. Um, am I close? Oh no. But 
there's there's a waypoint here, so I'm going to take it. I don't know why there are a lot of twoies here. But I guess uh, they're not just here to admire the scenery. Everyone hold hands! Ignorant and bold! One with nature! Clouds high! The birds call! How inconsiderate of you! No, my soul! I see everything! Gone! Never made it. Huh? Where are you? Nowhere to hide! Winter uh, there you shall go. eventually come. Well, uh, I'll have to check. Uh, what's this? Polarizing prism, crystal prism, and small prism. Uh, prism? <laughs> Those. Um. Oh. Okay. Operative's constancy. I see. But this is weird, though. Excellent. I have to check. I have to check. Um. This is about because these are new maps for my well possible characters. This is also done, it seems. So oh, great. Um let's have a look. Alright. Wind operative. An elite factory an elite Fatui special agent who can manipulate animal in battle. In combat, they will use the hunt down skill to attach a life bomb to characters they hit. While life bomb is active, the character will take continuous damage, and hunt down will deal more damage to them. Frost Operative, an elite Fatui special, special agent who can manipulate try in battle. In combat, they will use the hunt down skill to, atta to attach a life bomb to characters they hit. When life bomb is active, the character will take continuous damage, and hunt down will deal more damage to them. Well, um, as long as um, don't take too long with them, I should be, yeah, I should be good. No cause for concern, I suppose. Or at least I hope. Alright, um, also going to do this one as well. Seems fine. I mean, they do not they do not deal too much damage. I hope we find uh, long lost ancient literature. Least I guess that's a plus. I chance to deal with the Fatui. To me, um, the Fatui uh, is the most annoying. Hmm, that would be. 
the Electro... The Electro Fatui, the one with the hammer. Yeah, this one... This one is, uh, to me, the most annoying. But, for all this, it should be the most, uh, I mean, the easier. All depends on perspectives, I suppose. Crystal flies Into the wind. are always, um, but did I, did I jump? Yeah, okay, that's me. Practice range. I'd like to know. Where are, um... Wait. Let me, let me, uh... Yeah, let me, let me have a look. Because right now, I seem to be lost, because apparently it might be somewhere in the vicinity, but it's not somewhere that I know, so... I have to... Check it out. Mm -hmm. So, where is it? There are leaves around, and I know just the tune to accompany them, if you wish to hear it. Arrhenius Forest. Okay, okay, I know what that is. I, I, I definitely know where that is. Um, I guess I have to go here. Go this, yeah, let's go this way. All right, this is out of the way. Let's go back to this. So it should be close. If you want to fight me, guys, you can. I'm not going to say anything to you. It's fine. Wait. Oh. They all gone. What a thought. Get these two. All right. Everyone hold hands. Speed of light. There you go. Yes, I see it. I see it. Let's use this one. Oh, maybe I need two of those. Okay. 
and then no too far there So where, where should it be? Time to go. So Time good. to go. There's a loud show here. Time to go. Into the wind. Seems to be a waypoint over here as well, so I'm going to take it. Okay. I'm not going to touch that. This seems disrespectful to them and to me, so don't touch. Nature. Time to go. Uh -huh. What? Okay, guys. Uh, surely you can still stand. I was not fighting you, but. Fair enough. Nope. That. I see the uh, news here, here. Time to go. Into the wind. Ah. <laughs> 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 
this. Also, we did this as well. this. That's new. Or maybe it isn't. Observe. One and two. Okay, um... I'm going to use this. I have to move move this over here. Yeah, wait. Not here. Let's push it over here. And the other one as well. So what's the uh, what's the the zone, the area in which you can see do this? All right. What if I do this? Uh, okay. It's not how it works, it seems. So, what if I move this here? And then I move this over here and I do this. Too far? Yeah, too far but uh, I I have the gist of it. So let's move um, this way. Let's push that one here. Alright, then um, here, a little to the side here, and then, uh, here, alright, and now, ah, uh, well, now it works. Excellent. Body and mind. Um, Change this. Rain outlines your fate. Get this from Maritime Flower. Still fly now. Time to act. So, do you mean that it is in this vicinity here, or I don't know? Everything that is in the vicinity that I can get. Switch to the chain. Alright. I think with this I will have a I should have a substantial amount of markup. Adding the ones that are here as well. Everyone hold hands. Oh. Okay. 
Hey, squirrel. Well, too bad. These guys need yeah, yeah. to get them something interesting, right? What to get. Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? All right. I see a chest, I'm going to get the chest. It's as simple as that, I suppose. There. Can I switch? One with nature. Ouch. Rain outlines your face. Don't blink. Nowhere to hide. For that, <laughs> you give, you receive. Nothing here. What? Great. Okay. Coach over here. Well, it's well. No, um, it seems that these guys. Well, have the best time of their life, so should I disturb them? Should I? Yeah, I think I'll leave them be. It's fine. Time to go. Oh, butterfly. Same with you. Okay. Body first path. Mm. All right. Body and mind. Those. Where is the uh, time to act? Erinise. Forrester. Like, this has been completed, but I mean, Body and not mind. completed Time to be act. honest, because I have still have to do the world quest related to that tree. And I think it's also related to Egeria, but I have no way to, to well, say that for sure. It seems to be the case, so. Uh, 
I'm sure, I'm sure I will uh, encounter the Erinius forest soon. I guess it's just a matter of time. The amount, the amount of mints and markers that we get here, yeah, as I said, the amount of, of mints and uh, markers that we get here is astronomical. Lucia Block 4 though. Oh, okay. I know what it is for then. Another chest added. Is there anything else here? Nope. Alright. Let's go, let's go this way then. Now let's use this guy. Oh, okay. Which is weird, right? Because I think I've already beaten it. Not supposed to do that, but... Okay. Yeah, like, like I said, um, the amount of margots and, and mints that we get here is crazy enough. Let's get this. That makes one. Time to go. The wind is nosy. Okay. Let's do this as well. Whenever Kazuha still is ready. One with nature. Let's get all of that as well. Everyone hold hands! Nope. Too far. Into the wind. No, my sword. And yes, um, I know that they keep on saying they picked the wrong test subject. There's no end to this. Oh, hello, guys. Oh no! The wind knows me. Rain outlines your fate. Yes. <laughs> Simple as that. Yep. Constant enemies that we see in the game are probably Hillichurls for sure, but uh, I'm also sure that the ones that are right next or yeah, right next to them in terms of amount in the world are the treasure holders. Body and mind. And that is and that is saying something. Oh yeah, I'll get that chest here, and also get that one here. I hope we find long lost ancient. Lolo contraption reasonable roundabout. Into the wind. Right. Treasure seeking silly seems to have located the one that I'm supposed to get. So 
before I do this, I'm going to take care of these guys here. With sword comes shadow. Thomas's crystals. Okay. Into the wind. And I have much more that are just right next to me. One with me. I have to get that treasure first. Almost there. Okay. Into the wind. I know that with uh, a shield character, characters will be easy, but one with nature. Better to do it my style, right? This way. Okay. Cool. So, stop challenge. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So far, so good. Let's keep going. Kazuha, you with me? Of course I am. Nice. Into it. As it turns out, it's completed already. So let's, get, let's take this. A fateful and offering. now it's time to go this way now. Oh, I see it. So then it's one. Where's next? Mm, that way. I don't have to defeat every treasure hoarders, but some are going to be right next to me as I, I see deal everything. with all of them. Of light. All right, so uh. Seem to be stuck, so it's not my fault. Into the wind. Grow, grow, grow. Incoming. Hey. There. Raven Simia. So that's two. And this la last. Okay, it's this way. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot that uh, this one was here. Mistakes have been made. Be that way. I'm just going to get rid of everything here. And Time to go. Oh, oh got one mat here. It's over that way. Going to heal no, my soul. Right now. Huh. And Time to act. with that, huh. should be it. Oh no, I have to 
Yeah, I have to fight. I see everything. I have to fight. Body and mind. I have to fight. I have to fight. Last energy. Oh, okay. Oh. Not that was bad. something. <clears throat> as far as Everyone hold hands. All treasures have been uncovered. Hey. Yeah. I will not let you win this guy. This time, guys. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Some of my, uh, well, team. Some in my team have taken a beating, but... Uh, yeah, I know what that is. I definitely know what that is. Or at least I think I know what that is. Still in uh, Arrhenius Forest. Trying to get my in your way, but it seems that I have no other choice. So. Sorry. Hmm. And where does that go? Let's do this. Let's get this thing here. There are two of those, huh? At least it seems that way. Is here, right? Uh, right here. Now, as to what awaits us um, over that way, I'm not for sure. Just will know. Sooner rather than sooner rather than later. Thank you. 
Oh, so that is for us to go back, right? Yes, I think it is. Interesting. And what is that? Where does that get us to? Was this place? Oh, so I didn't see this before. So, oh, there's a turret. I should not go that way. All right. Look at this though. It's like. Interesting. This power. Leave that one here. Let's destroy that. Alright. Nice. Okay, Jimmy. That as well. <gasps> Crystal flies. I'm gonna get those. Okay. Then. Um. As well, the dog is I'm going to get as well. All right, now as to them. Xena Chromatic Crystal. That's new. Well, at least I think that's new. Get this and. Right. Okay. Um. This is um the oh wait is the hydrocolis in here somewhere or it's just a bear I don't know for sure but then again I'm going to make sure that this one is good. Get these dodges. <laughs> oh, I see. You regenerate as long as you're near him or it. Uh, 
and there you go. Nice. So, are there? Oh wait, I know. I know. I know what to do. So I have to move this. This. If I do this, okay. Uh, let's read. Let me stir a solitaire here. Let's read. Um. Most of the inscription has been scratched out, but you can make out foam. Okay. Uh, pick up. And that's another key for us. Now, all we need to do is find the final one. TG. TG. Passive. Oh, passive. Where did you come from? She has such an amazing design. Wow. Disappeared. Passive. Okay then. Paimon's never met a Melusine so unique. And Paimon thought pa Melusine all lived in the court of Fontaine or Marisil village. How come you're out here? Court of Fontaine? Marisil village? You seem confused. Haven't you heard of those places? Trotter Fontaine, Melusine, Maristair Village, Melusine. Ah, Erinese Passive Home, Erinese Passive Protect. Wait, so you're saying that this is your home and that you're protecting it? Passive. But, you, but don't the Melusine live in the Maristair Village? Yes, that's kind of strange. Are some Melusine born elsewhere? Paimon can't see any others here, though. Passive, do you live here alone? Alone? Melusine, that visitor, passive. That visitor? There's a visitor? Who? That visitor. Paimon, Paimon, the mole, the mole. That visitor, that visitor. So who is that visitor exactly? Passive. Are you trying to say that visitor is called that visitor? Like Paimon is called Paimon? Passive. Aha! I was right. Paimon's always said that she's clever, isn't she? Hasn't she? It's a very strange name, though. That visitor passive. Knowledge. Kapow. Uh, you mean that the visitor is hel helping you learn things? Passive, lots of language, wisdom, lots of. Uh, Paimon's not sure about the lots of bit. Passive, a visitor, protect, protect. Go to Jever, has him. Uh, protect, Kapow. And he helps you protect this place? Melusine. You help him protect this place? Passive. Ah, uh, so that's it. But who is this visitor? And why does he need you to help protect this place anyway? And some really bad things have happened here too. We saw the stone tablet and how someone had scratched out the inscription and lots of filth. Are there any enemies? Curious Paimon. Passive. The time very not lots of chi 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 square west kapow kapow we'll be as quick as we can 
Paimon, passive. Level, passive. Passive. There's two happy jumps and then leaves in a hurry. Right? Looks like we're really out pressed for time. But we've already dropped two cheese. So let's press on and get the third. Yeah. Yeah, I have already gotten one of these keys. Oh, so that's what this is for. The teardrop key. So these are this is one of the teardrop keys that uh, I need for this uh, part. So search for the chi near the mouth of the spring. Alright, but before I do any of this, let me see some stuff. Let me look at some stuff real quick. Alright, and the inventory. I think what I got is um, this one here. So I'm going to get rid of this. I have those here. Um, Alright. Uh, uh, uh. Alright. Well, as we can see, you can see, guys, um, there are not any more monsters around here. So I think that I'll uh, pause around here. Uh, I'll come back in a bit, just need to do some stuff in the meantime, so in the meantime, please guys, uh, uh, I will not be far, I'm, I will not be away for too long, right, so in the meantime, uh, chat amongst yourselves, um, grab some snacks, and we will uh, reach in the vein in a bit, as I see those two delegates over there as well. Alright, well, I'll be back, guys. Don't you worry. Bits.
Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um. Wait. All right. We are back. Oh. Forgot. I forgot. into the sweet the swing of things I suppose let's go oh yeah the, <laughs> I almost forgot before I move on I have to do this uh, as I search for something here. Seems to be good. Alright, um, I just want to see what we unlocked. So, I'll go right over there. I'll get this. I'll go over here. Is there, is there a, uh, a crab or something? It's a hydroxylus. Okay, sweet. Get this. Get that. I'll get this thing here. is there. Have these to do this as well. Do this. Alright. Let's do this time trial thingy. Think there's anything else, right? Well, what else is there? Isn't that? Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this, this right there, is um, the place where uh, I saw um, what's it called? Yeah, the gigantic uh, water spiral thing. Yeah. Hmm. 
look at this though. Wow. Uh, I'm 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 definitely flabbergasted right now. Wow. What? What the heck is this? <laughs> uh, yeah. I might. It was on a deserted moonlit night that the hero approached okay, the okay. wild dragon's limpid See, lair. I, I can't even. I'm pushed back. I'm pushed back. Watch, Baranya. Wow. Hey, as, as long as that doesn't deal damage to me, it's okay, I suppose. Alright, well, let's go back. It's definitely not here that I have to go then. So good. Whipping will love the light. Yeah. Let's go up there. Maybe there's something interesting for us. Just this thing here signifies that there's a problem with the ley line, so... Crystal 115. Alright. Good, good, good. So, I don't think that um, it comes as a surprise, but I think that this whipping willow here uh, is boosted by ley line corrosion and. <laughs> It also seems that I have to do something about it, but I don't know, as of right now, what I have to do here in order to to quell uh, the pain of this willow here. I'll think about it later. As for right now, I um, still have to understand where in the vicinity I'm supposed to go. Mm. 
because it's not that thin, right? I have to look at the structure. Uh, this detail here. No. It's supposed to be on the far side. So, this will Wherever go this will... there. Right? Aronius Forest. Which is still in the vicinity. I just have to get to that point in time where. I can uh, definitely see what is, well, driven that question over there, but I guess we'll see. Alright, uh, so I have to go, I think I have to go, uh, I have to go on the left side, my left with that over oh, that way. At least I think I have to do this way. <laughs> this specific thing. event it says Erenes Forest mm, weird that's weird have a look might be that way to be honest I'm not going to travel <laughs> not going to travel there obviously just going to get here <clears throat> Alright. Hmm. Uh, this gigantic bubble that is well giving off a well, a powerful wind current is interesting to say the least. So now I have to go underwater because I think that's where. Wait, give me, give me this. Thank you. So I suppose that's where I should be. Yeah. All right. Found it. Finally. Okay, well... Isn't this with the cannon? Again? <sighs> okay. Does seem that I don't have any choice in the matter, right? Challenge. What is it going to be? Destroy all the papa fruits. Wait. Then. Then. 
Ouch. Did that right to the face. Look at this little buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Hi. Um, so yeah, where should I go? one here so let me get this one as well so going to get healed Deal with them up close. Not get out. Okay. So far, so good. As long as that guy do not, does not uh, try to attack me as a spin crystal here. wanted to attack me, but I said no. Mm -mm. You're not going to touch me. Come on. Wait. Now I'm good. All right. At least there's that out of the way. 
don't need to focus on that specific thing. Let me just uh, get this out of the way before we continue forward. Do they? No. Okay. Um, is there? Oh yes, there is. I need um, that. Okay. Yeah, I know, but I definitely want these. Definitely want that specific Phantom Labyrinth uh, special specialty. Nope. Second time. Alright. Let's get this. Let's go with that. how to get her, but I'm sure that there might be a way. Uh, I guess we'll find out about that later. As for right now, this again and I need to unlock the next part of uh, the final thing related to Stretches. Where's the final part? Where can it be? It's crazy how I I can't I'm not able to to find out where the last one is. This one is not someone to be trifled with. Maybe it's over that way? Who knows? Oh, yep. This is the last part. Wait, what? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need this. Attack me. I know for sure, but I'm going, I'm going closer to him because I know he's going to attack me, so I'm going to dish that damage back. Okay. Get this again. this all right so 
far so good. I have the, file, the power of Hydro in my hand. <laughs> it's crazy. One, two, three. Alright. This. And now, on to the part where I uh, <laughs> rip the rewards for this specific investigation. I think I deserve that, to be honest. At least, at the very least, I, I did it without having to unlock any other parts of um, the map. So I'm, I'm quite happy about that. That means I will be able, still be able to track all of the hydrocoli and um, as well as the uh, chests for the 100% completions of each part. You thought... You thought I was going to let you do this. Well, I can say... What can I say, though? Apart from, uh, think again. I have a lot to tell just, though, so... At least that's... that's good. So now I can do the epilogue with uh, Omen. And I also can get that, uh, that silly. Can't wait. That is done. Alright, and now... I think this will, uh... Yeah, okay. Let me go back to it. Mm -hmm. Teleport waypoint. Alright. Well. At least that is out of the way. Which means that... Uh, <laughs> I'm more than happy to... Move on to what... I've been waiting for, and that is the part with the aftermath of Virgil. Yeah, <laughs> we are like what? Yeah, almost almost three hours and a half into the making of this stream, and uh, <laughs> it, it's taken me that much time to figure it out. But at least I'm good. At least um, at least I did all. <laughs> my way. So I'm happy with that. Alright, Zincho, I guess you should be the one to receive this silly. Ancient iron coins. Ancient iron coins. Nice, very nice. With so many ancient iron coins, I'm sure I can make a pretty pile of more. Thanks a ton, Limo and Paimon. What do you plan on doing next? Of course, I'm going to think of a way to exchange these ancient iron coins for Mora or other convenient and useful items. But seriously, 
I really don't want to get tangled up with that middle man from before. He takes a huge chance every time. Not only that, but it takes forever for him to get my money to me. I haven't got a clue what he's doing. But other than him, I simply can't find anyone reliable to work with. <sighs> Enough of that. These are for you. Consider it a bonus for our fruitful long-term cooperation. Once my business here in Fontaine is over, I'll need to think cheerfully about my next steps. I can't just keep traveling. That's way too tiring. Yeah, I guess what you- I guess- yeah, I guess it's fair enough. Well, we'll see you later, Holman. Maybe in Natlin or Snezhnaya. No, no, what I'm saying. Maybe in Natlin, yeah. It was uh, really nice to see you, Olman. To next time, I guess, right? But <laughs> with, with that out of the way, I guess now we can get what we've been waiting for. And that is our own mini silly here. That can go apparently underwater, so. Yep, Jimmy Jimmy. I hope it's the one that goes underwater, to be honest. Uh, so there's the moss, there's the viola, there's the tro trimmer, rose, the day flower, and the brilliance. So I'm going to say to go for the brilliance then. Yep. A memento from Lost Riches. Equip the silly to Jane's company. A mini silly with brilliant colors, it can move freely underwater. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And after that, I'm just going to get these rewards here. I think I can get everything, right? Everything should be able to be purchased. Let's get all that. 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 And this. And that means that everything has been purchased. Don't have anything else to do with this uh, specific event. So what I think I'm, I'll do is that I'll definitely equip right now if my this new silly as a memento of what happened. Switch. And there we go. Come on, look at, look at this little thing. <laughs> So cute. Wow. <laughs> I'm so happy about it. So that means that this little thingy here, this little silly, can go underwater with me. Let's go and see. Yep, it can. Let's go. I'm so happy about that. Okay. So, now this is out of the way, what I think I'll do is that um, I'll go to the Statue of the Seven to give it a uh, behind Georgia Light that I've got. Um, and then after, I'm going to go to the Fountain of Lucene to redeem all of these Hydro Sigils. And then, we will start a new world quest, and that I'm excited about. Alright. Do you need that juicy reward here? Alright. <laughs> Worship statue. <laughs> Worship. Oh! So now that means that I only need one more for. Is it for, for level 5? Yeah, I think it's for level 5. Alright. So, we'll see about that later. After that, uh, what I need to do is go to the Fountain of Lucene. Alright, 
just uh, have a look here. All right. Uh, let's see. Just a quick sec before we move on. I'm going to check some things real quick. It was on a deserted moonlit night that the hero approached the vile dragon's limpid lair. So how should we call that, um, that silly now? What name is suited for that silly here? Uh, I don't know. Maybe... Uh, Hydro... no, no, no. What am I saying? Maybe Hydra vi Vibrance? No. Mm. I don't know. Because there's already not another blue type um, silly. But this one? Look at this one, though. <laughs> so cool. If my calculations are correct, <clears throat> what? Yeah, right, let's go back here. We'll start this whole quest, which is in the quarter fountain. So, let's see what's going on with these guys specifically. All right, it's time. <laughs> what happened with the traveler here? <laughs> Did you see that, guys? <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> Let's keep it composed. Now. Now this is a most serendipitous meeting, wouldn't you, won't you agree, my dear Lucha? Wait, wait, now this is a most serendipitous meeting, won't you agree, won't you agree, my dear Lucha? Hmm, huh. so this one is called Lucha? Who are you? Apologies, look at me, beginning a conversation with, without even introducing myself, I am Sony. The one they sometimes call me, the, those, the one they sometimes call the White Glove. My friend here is Lucha, the fisherman. He's pretty famous in certain circles. Ah, hello. Paimon is... It's most alright. I know that you are Paimon, 
And this blonde traveler here is Limo. Huh? You know us already? But of course! It's just that before today, my knowledge of you was much like my knowledge of the Chief Justice. In other words, I knew of you, but you did not know of me. Ah. Uh... Okay. With your fame and accomplishments, it is only natural that news of your arrival would reach us as soon as you step foot in Fontaine. We are that famous? <laughs> ah, you're too humble. How shall I put it? Mm, to certain people, your arrival in Fontaine would be as if someone had just set off a bomb on the stage of Opera Epiclus. Of course, I mean, this is only the most positive way. Don't you agree, my dear Luger? Uh, but how can a bomb growing up ever be a good thing? Hmm. I'm not very good with words. How would you put it, my dear Luger? Linny and Lynette's magic show. Blessing every time wide open to accomplish the impossible. Spine tingling experience. Precisely. See, I would have never thought to put it like that. Uh, if you say so. Why Why are you called the white glove, though? Paimon doesn't see a glove at all. Ooh, now that's a hard question. How should I explain? Imagine, if you will, that you're wearing a white glove. If something dirty were to get on your hand, then a dark mark would be left on the glove. My duty would be to find that dark mark and remove it from your view, or, and remove it from you. Uh, so you're like a, I don't know, like a, a set. Like your merch? Huh? So, you're something like a cleaner? Exactly, my dear Paimon. See, I was never able to so succinctly <laughs> summarize the nature of my work. Ah, so people like you are the reason why the streets of the Court of Fontaine are always so well kept and tidy? <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Yes, you may understand it like that. Okay? That makes sense, Paimon, but why would a cleaner need a knife? Oh, yeah. You may think of it as a small tool of the trade that we bring out when there are marks that are particularly hard to remove. Got it, thanks. So, is your friend Lucha here, Lucha the Fisherman, because he's really good at fishing? That's only a part of the story, I am afraid. See, there are many kinds of fish in Fontaine as well. And Lucha here is really experienced at teaching people to spend some time, some quality time, with all the different kinds of fish. Am I right, my dear Lucha? Huh? Paimon doesn't get it. If that's the case, then... I must say, dear Paimon, that you really got a knack for asking the most difficult and fascinating questions. It would be most wonderful if we could have a longer conversation, where I would be able to answer everything to your full satisfaction. Um, anything we can help with? You see, we are extremely intrigued by the practice of diving. Fontaine's waters are full of priceless treasures left by nature and our ancestors of light. Oh yes. Oh yes. And not little. <laughs> that we saw with Virgil. We heard that you had made a good friend recently. Really? That's what you call a good friend? I don't know what to say. 
uh, and even went for a dive with him. Uh, well, describe good friend, please, Sony. Uh, because right now, I don't really know. Seems like uh, maybe uh, you've got the wrong person. Your powers were such that you didn't even need to use any diving equipment. Isn't that right, my dear Lucha? Oh, so you want to ask about Virgil. I mean, I already know that. Yes, we want to ask about Virgil. Virgil, that liar and traitor. Just remembering him makes me mad. You recount your experiences with Virgil to Sony, the White Love, and Lucha, the Fisherman. Well, and uh, what about uh, he? Uh, he went with us, and um, we tried to uh, get some knowledge about what we were in for regarding where we went, and then we were attacked by. Some kind of crazy um, science experiment with a, a ruined breeder has been modified. So yeah, that that, that is something that uh, Virgil would not get away with. I can't wait to see him again, to have him um, have a piece of my own well medicine, let's say. I see, I see. Thank you for telling us all of this. You're welcome. <laughs> Paimon hasn't forgotten a single thing about that guy. We are, of course, exceedingly grateful that you were willing to share the whole story with us. However, from my own perspective, I am even more relieved that you do not consider Virgil to be a friend. That hadn't been the case. If that hadn't been the case, oh, you would have to dispose of us too? <laughs> yeah, try me. Mm, maybe I can put it like this. Had you seen him as a friend, things would have become quite awkward from both of us. Isn't that right, my dear Luja? It could make things difficult. I agree, I agree. Thank you so much. What are you talking about? <sighs> Not you get it, Paimon. They are Virgil's enemies. Ah, okay. Your words wound me, my dear sir. Your words wound me, my dear sir. Oh, really? Really? I have many friends and not a single enemy. Virgil is just one of my many friends. And, uh, speaking of dear Virgil, I think it's about time that we sh have a serious talk with him. Surely you understand what I mean, dear Limo. Of course, this is also so that we can get back at him for what he's done to you. It's the least we can do for our honored guests, don't you think? Uh, Paimon is lost. Uh, Paimon? Let's just say that he's the white blood, and that's all that you have to know. Um, okay. We've already found the stronghold of Virgil and the rest of his friends. Why don't we meet up there? Alright then, let's go. Why do, also, do we also need to go? I need to find out more about why Virgil did all the things he did. And I think that... There's a deeper story behind it all, and I just know—I just want to know why, technically. So, all right then, let's go. Hmm. Paimon wants to talk to Virgil too. He has to make a formal apology apology to us. <laughs> You're too kind. Then let's meet up at our destination. And uh, where is our destination? Head to your destination. A Fontanian message. So, where is this? Oh. Underwater? Alright. Alright, alright. 
Yeah, uh, I, I I saw guys that uh, I still have to go to Catherine to redeem my commission points. Uh, it's all right. All we done in due time. Don't you worry. Oh wait. Uh, come on. There was some piece of lore uh, during this this particular uh, let's say loading screen. All right. So. You know what? Uh, these this uh, specific uh, uh, blow beast could be called a uh, local legend. To be honest, just saying. Right? Go there. I think I've already went this way before. That's how I unlocked the specific, uh, specific way, but I don't know it's supposed to be. Oh yes, yeah, I, I remember now. I remember that place. Yeah, can you? Why would you? Okay. Why would you stop? This is weird. <laughs> uh, dear Paimon, and my good sir, this is a stronghold that Virgil has been using as of late. This? This was the stronghold of Virgil? But I saw that ages ago now. This is crazy. This is definitely crazy. I s sketchy looking person. I swear. Why is Virgil still not back? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Was there. Ah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Ça... ça dit bien, ça dit bien. <rire> euh, et toi, comment ça va <rire> Allez, Comme tu vois, euh, ça ne dérange pas que, que je parle en anglais, bien évidemment, n'est-ce pas J'ai amené la ce fort. <rire> Merci, hein. Merci. <rire> Moi, c'est quoi cette... Ouais, ben, hey, si vous amenez, ça avez amené de la ce fort, il euh, y a quelque chose qui s'appelle s'abonner, bande de caca. <rire> Et tous <rire> omis. Je, 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 te, je te jure, ça me fait trop rire. C'est quoi ces gens? Ok, ok. Vous êtes. Ah, oui, c'est quoi? Qu'est-ce qu'il y a? Qu'est-ce qu'il y a? Je remercie l'abonnement. Merci euh, Khalil pour l'abonnement. T'es un, un vrai. <rire> <rire> ah, c'est qui l'abonnement où je le désabot le chantage Eh, hey, oh, Reno, c'est je suis à vous, toi même, toi même pas... Non mais, eh, hey, hey, Ed, euh, merci, merci, merci le frérot, hein. merci, 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 merci pour la beau, merci. Youssef, merci pour la beau également, merci. Comment ça, ban, ban, Youssef, flop, man. Eh, 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 Youssef, Youssef, 
si tu veux rester sur... Je, si je veux pas, je te ban, tu dis pas le gros mot. Voilà, plus simple. Voilà. Mais moi, modo, euh, je sais pas trop. Hein. Je sais pas trop. Toi, je sais pas si tu veux être un bon modo, toi. Ah, ah, ah bon Ah bon T'es sûr Regarde, même Khalid dit c'est faux. <rire> même Khalid dit c'est faux. Tu crois quoi, toi <rire> Est-ce que je suis censé te croire sur parole Hein Est-ce que je suis censé... Non mais... Comment ça, oui Comment ça, oui Attends, 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 attends. Le, le seul, le, la, seule personne, la seule personne qui peut me dire si euh, Edm doit être modo, c'est Khalid. <rire> la France en sous. C'est pas possible. Euh, Edm je crois que t'as pas compris en fait. J'ai dit s'il y, si y a un gros mot dans ma chaîne, euh, je banne aussi la personne qui dit gros mot. Ça peut correspondre à toi également en fait. <rire> euh, D'accord. Donc en fait, vous voulez faire une sorte de, de stream où en fait moi, j'essaye en fait de me, de me dire intérieurement que la, la vie est folle en fait, c'est ça C'est ça que vous voulez faire Attends, attends. <rire> ban à des mid. <rire> non. Bon, attends, 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 attends. Attends. Non, parce que là, ça devient catastrophique, là. Attends. Euh... Mm -mm. Voilà. 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 Merci. Voilà. 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 Vous avez, même, vous avez même, des, des, des émoticônes là, c'est tout. Voilà. Voilà. Ple, ple, pleurez dans votre coin là, s'il vous plaît, merci. <rire> On n'est pas à ça près. <rire> La, la seule manière, la seule manière pour moi de savoir si je peux repasser au mode normal, c'est si vous arrêtez de dire des gros mots. Mais je sais que c'est impossible avec vous, c'est trop compliqué. Regarde, regarde moi, regarde moi ces gars. <rire> <I swear. rire> Allez, c'est pas mieux le chat de des mots j'en ai rien à faire. C'est pas, pas mieux le chat, j'en ai rien à I swear. Why is Rachel still not back yet? C'est censé être quoi ça en chat? Quelque chose, quelqu'un d'enfermé derrière? derrière je ne sais rien. Oh my god, qu'est-ce que c'est que ce truc? Non mais. Eh, hey, on, on soutient. On, on, c'est quoi ce soutien là? Eh. Hey. Les, les niveaux de, de hype, de, de train de la hype, là, ils sont où, là ils sont... <rire> <It's> just... <rire> là, et Youssef, là, t'es où, là Edm, t'es où, là Vas-y, ba balance, les, ba balance les émos. C'est pas ce délire. Ils sont où là Vous êtes où vous <rire> non, mais... Et franchement, vous êtes incroyable. Il n'y a, pas... a... a rien à dire. Franchement, vous êtes des fous. <rire> Tiens, attends, attends, attends. Et je suis sympa, hein, mais le premier qui redit encore un gros mot, je repasse en mode, en mode démo. <rire> It's just a dangerous looking person. If he's just gonna keep us waiting, I might not be able to hold myself back from this shipment of Sith. Uh, hey, check it out. Like this? 
Ah 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 eh, Youssef, montre-nous ton meilleur anglais là. Vas-y, montre-nous ton meilleur anglais. Je veux que Khalil et Edm, ils approuvent ton anglais. S'ils approuvent pas, t'es ban. Voilà, tranquille. Hey, cut it. Cut it out. That shipment to just an arm and a leg to get Virgil will have no mercy for you. If you would just take it without his permission. Dis vite l'air dans le nouvel... Euh, une pétition, pétition aussi pour que tu arrêtes de parler, aide moi aussi. Après, ça dépend hein, également, hein, si tu veux euh, jouer samedi prochain. Il y a aussi ça. <rire> c'est chance, c'est des ouf. <rire> Je suis en ouf. Attends, attends, attends. Attends, ça, Ed, ça veut dire que tu t'es abonné qu'aujourd'hui Mais franchement, c'est du n'importe quoi. Son propre frère, son propre frère, il s'abonne à lui que le jour où il y a Rally et Youssef. Et je te jure, c'est incroyable. Incroyable. <rire> Tu sais que j'allais dire. Khalil, euh, 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 t'as le droit sur Discord, sur le, sur Discord de, de faire ce que tu veux de Edm. Je, je te donne l'autorisation, hein, d'accord T'as le droit. <rire> ouais, t'as as, as le droit parce que là, très clairement, ce gars-là, il a perdu connaissance, il est en mode PLS et euh, il dit des singeries là. Comme euh, le message que je ne vais pas citer parce que voilà, tu vois, Khalil, euh, voilà, hein. <coughs> des choses comme ça. Hein. L'épée nice. Ouais, la journée a été tranquille, hein. Elle ne l'a pas joué aujourd'hui. C'est toujours une bonne journée. Quand il joue pas. <rire> C'est bon, Hassou. Parce que. Je... Il veut le. <rire> attends, attends, laisse-moi voir ça. <rire> ça, il veut le time mute. Pendant deux minutes, je comprends la puissance du jeu. <rire> eh. Ouais, t'as tout compris, hein. Franchement, t'as tout compris. Mais je vais. Mais laisse. Laisse-moi faire ce que je veux. Toi, tu joues à ton Fortnite et ton Minecraft. Ok, c'est à plusieurs. Ok, ça va être allié les Lucef. Mais moi, au moins, je joue au jeu que j'aime bien. Et je m'en fous des autres. C'est tout. Oui, mais il faut varier. Ouais, d'accord, d'accord, whatever. C'est bon, Rani, j'ai vu Discord, hein. c'est un... C'est fou, le gars. Hey. Si tu l'as mis en time mute et qu'il est obligé de, de répondre qu'ici. Il <rire> faut ramener de la populace. Bientôt un stream sur Halo. Poulite, Chouila, Pou... Qu'est-ce Mais qu'est-ce qu'il qu qu raconte Mais qu'est-ce qu'il raconte eh, Youssef, Youssef, qu'est-ce qui qu qu se passe là Mais qu'est-ce qui... <rire> ok, 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 très bien. Voilà, voilà, voilà. Ok, on continue. <coughs> 
Hey, uh, check it out. The treatment to just an arm and a leg to get. Virgil will have no mercy for you if you were to just take it without his permission. What a pity. It would seem that my dear friend Virgil hasn't returned to the stronghold yet. <laughs> we, we can still have a chat with these guys, however. Uh, but it doesn't look like they're in the mood for a chat. Mm -hmm. mm, but I think they may change their minds soon enough. What do you think, my dear Lucha? No problem. Hey, are you sure that there'd be no problem? Paimon thinks they'll, be, they'll probably just try to beat you up. Oh no, you are too considerate, my dear Paimon. Something like that would be most unfortunate indeed. For them, of course. Oh yes. Let's go. Oh, another test subject. Wait, 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 wait. What? Is it classic FPS? I see everything. <laughs> Ouch. Liable partner, mate. <laughs> there. Please let me explain. This is all a misunderstanding. Mr. Sony, you see, we only got into this business because we heard there was more to be made. And since the higher didn't agree, we figured. We figured we could just earn the money first, and then turn all of the profits over. Yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> She's totally ignoring Paimon. I have no complaints against the organization. Not at all. Oh, right. I was also tricked by these crooks. That's the only reason at all why I did something so foolish. Impressive. Very impressive. Imol, you are every inch as strong as the stories have made you out to be. Not you agree, my dear Lucha. Super strong. Incredibly formidable. Please, if you still remember anything about the time we spent together. Why is there... <laughs> okay. Uh, if you still remember anything about the time we spent together. Mr. Sony. Mr. Lucha. Hmm. Uh, pl please. Please, no. Uh, Lucha. Our guests are still here. Let's not do anything discourteous that might bring down their mood. Understood. Hm. See the errors of your ways now, Virgil? Uh, it was my fault. It was all my fault. Please have mercy. Okay. At least you've admitted that you have done something wrong. Now, make sure you won't do it again. My dear Virgil would never do something like that again. Paimon, Limol, I can promise you that on the honor of Sonny the White Loaf, as well as that my father and son. Let's go, Paimon. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Sonny and Lucha. It seems that there are more good than bad people in the Fontaine, after all. Farewell, dear Paimon, and my good sir. I hope there'll come a day when we will be able to work together again. Eep. A Fontanian message. Uh, quest completed. Uh... <sighs> Alright, my dear Virgil. You've really put us through a lot of trouble. Now then, what should we do with you? S sorry This won't do. This won't do at all. You know full well that time flies, and it is now too late for you to turn back. Our organization has a justice code all on our own. And one of our most important rules is that there are some trades that you just never do. But, Mr. Sony, please just listen to me. The profit margin on this, it's just... Ah, uh, not this again. More, more, more. Is there anything you care about other than Mora? 
What about your pride as a citizen of Fontaine? What about your conscience as you watch our countrymen turn into husks of themselves from this drink? Ah! Uh -huh. How shocking. Even Lucha is showing intense emotion in response to your words. You see, my dear Virgil, if truly accomplished the impossible. Mr. Sony, I. Please believe me. It's all because of that. What those guys said. They lied to me. I. I would not have done anything if not for. Silence, you worthless dross. Ah. Uh, you see, it's that kind of low life I've got no time for. Even now, you're still trying to lie to me. Huh. Are you beyond dumb? Or do you think I'm dumb? Not so talkative now, are you? You even try to hurt Limola. Do you have even the faintest inkling of who you were asked to deal with? To think that you could have trained someone as clueless as you. I've really got to have a good conversation with him. But that will not be something you'll need to worry about, my dear Virgil. Oh, you think so? This is crazy. <laughs> yep, that's what you get. That's what you get. Um, why all these F's? <laughs> uh, okay, okay, I've already... I've already looked into this. So maybe we'll have to talk with Sony again later. Alright. <laughs> Look at the study. <laughs> oh, well, expect I had to do that, but then again. All right, now let's have a look. Go to we have everything here is all done. Finish comedy. Wild Fairy of Erinus. Unfinished comedy, yes. So, but this is uh <laughs> Um, why? Yusef? No, that's not good. <laughs> Let's go there. <sighs> These guys, seriously, what am I going to do with them? I think. Yeah, je pense que. Il va falloir que je regarde spécifiquement parce que j'ai l'impression. Et c'est une impression. Que. Il y a beaucoup plus euh, de gens qui viennent. Enfin, qui parlent en français ou qui sont de la France. <rire> dans les viewers. Et euh, oui, je sais, Ed, tu me l'as déjà dit. Je sais. Je sais, tu me l'as déjà dit. 
Ad Astra Abyss. Just creep to creep. What? Thank you for completing today's command. Hey. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome. On est pas en France. Yes. On est pas en France indeed. <laughs> non. On est à. Uh... Là, t'as des droits de Twitch français. Et après, peut-être que je me trompe. Eh ben, j'espère très certainement que tu te trompes. <rire> Parce que, ah ouais, je dis pas que c'est pas bien d'avoir des, des, des voix en français ou d'avoir des, des drogues français. Time to go. Mais bon, ouais, je dirais. Ouais. Il y a des jeux, c'est qu'en anglais. Je vais pas que. Je... Je vais pas avoir, euh, prendre la peine de les traduire en français à chaque fois que je parle. <rire> Le jeu il bug fort. Ah ouais. Mon genre de zone c'est un peu compliqué tu vois. <rire> Là tu changes la langue. La, la langue de quoi La langue du jeu Oui mais je veux dire, hey. Imagine, imagine un peu, d'accord Imagine juste pendant un moment que là, euh, language, je change ça en français. Enfin, si j'y arrive, n'est-ce hein, pas J'attends juste que ça se mette en place, vois-tu Et voix du jeu. Ben, il n'y a que anglais dans tous les cas, donc c'est pas comme si j'en quelque chose. Et, et, non, et non, je ne vais pas changer au chinois, ou au japonais, ou au coréen, d'accord Mais c'est le stream ou le jeu Comme ça, c'est le stream ou le jeu C'est le jeu c'est le, le jeu, pas le stream. Un message, un message fontenois et une discussion avec la Virgin. Virgin. Tenez, canonnage à outrance, obtenez un trésor grâce à une violente salve de canon naval. Right. Et ça. Le trésor. Et puis c'est sur les terres aquatiques. Et ça aussi d'ailleurs. Donc oui, euh, tout ce qui est euh, là maintenant, c'est en français. Ce n'est pas en anglais. En plus, euh, chez Ori, elle est encore là. Je trouve ça bizarre quand même. Hmm. Bon, on y va. Euh... Uh-huh. Yeah. Ouais. On les voit. Là, très clairement. Faut que j'arrive déjà à le trouver. D'ailleurs, euh, 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 si Rally était encore là dans le chat, euh, euh, Edmund, Edmund il est toujours en mode ban, en mode time mute. <rire> Ça va être Because now it's futile. Ils sont sur Minecraft. 
Ils sont sur Minecraft. Ah ouais, ouais d'accord. Mais qu'est-ce qu'ils qu font sur Minecraft pour ça Oui, donc ils sont pas focus sur le stream. <rire> sens bah il joue ah, mais ça j'avais bien compris qu'il jouait en fait hein, merci allez J'y pense, la qualité de des jeux de sont sur play. Donc, euh... <rire> il n'y a que toi qui les connais. Mayo à Fatou. Ça veut dire quoi ça Qu'est-ce qu'il raconte lui encore Eh, hey, hey, euh, ce, ce gars-là, il fait penser à qui Je suis là pour vous jouer à ce Go. 
Oh, dernier. Eh. J'ai l'impression qu'on est pas mal déjà. ça à faire these two Tu te portes bien. Tu te portes bien. Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire Je connais, tu vas bien. Je connais, je connais. Euh, euh, tu te sens bien. Mais tu te portes bien. Venant de toi, Youssef. Intéressant. Non, on est à on est à bien maintenant là. Soixante quatre heures. Je sais pourquoi. Déjà ici. 
Là, tu dois faire quoi euh, Je dois libérer un bateau. Je dois libérer un bateau. Il faut juste que je sache s'il y a... Comment je pourrais dire Il y a des monstres spécifiques là. Qui sont vraiment plus puissants que les autres. Il faut que je fasse... Il faut que je fasse attention. Où ce bateau Ça c'est une autre zone, ça ça vient pas avec Ça ça vient pas là -bas. Attends. Je vais essayer de voir où est-ce que ça se trouve. Je crois que c'est le bateau qui est là-bas là. Ouais, c'est ce bateau là là. Il va falloir que j'enlève toutes les algues qui sont en dessous. Ça, moi. Euh... Ouais, d'accord, ok, top. Pas besoin de faire les trois en même temps, ok. Enfin, les cinq en même temps. Maintenant, really? Vraiment. Là, on va prendre le bateau. Si j'arrive à monter dedans, bien évidemment. Voilà, on est parti. Là tu as réussi. Ouais, c'était déjà la première partie. Allez, juste récupérer ça maintenant. C'est la surattente. Notre coffre. dans la zone donc j'imagine que cette euh, celle-ci fait partie aussi du décor je vais la prendre Brings a smile to my face. Tiens, Yusef, Khalil et Edm, comment ça se passe? Tout va bien? Vous êtes euh, tranquille? Calme. Ton perso il est fort ou pas 
Ben, disons que c'est un perso qui est dans la team la plus méta du jeu. Dans la team la plus méta du jeu, celui que j'ai actuellement là. Donc, euh, ouais, il est fort. ça se détruit pas évidemment ça. Mm. Ok. Rain outlines your fate. Mm. On va à la île. I wonder who this gift could be from. Combien 79 79 Alright. Euh... Je pense que ce que je vais faire... Je vais aller là. On va aller là-bas.
something on your mind again? Let's work through it together. Two heads are better than one. Just rely on the ocean's self-cleaning ability. If you're not sure what to do next, how about I take you on a walk? self-cleaning ability. What they say is true. You have to see the world for yourself to appreciate how beautiful it is. We cannot just rely on the ocean's self-cleaning ability. Just rely on the 
ocean self-cleaning ability. Something on your mind again? Let's work through it together. Two heads are better than one. We cannot just rely on the ocean's self-cleaning ability. self-cleaning ability. What they say is true. You have to see the world for yourself to appreciate how beautiful it is. We cannot just rely on the ocean's self-cleaning ability. self-cleaning ability. We cannot just rely on the ocean's self-cleaning ability. Thank you. 
something on your mind again? Let's work through it together. Two heads are better than one. We cannot just rely on the ocean's self-cleaning ability. What they say is true. You have to see the world for yourself to appreciate how beautiful it is.
if you're not sure what to do next, how about I take you on a walk? rely on the ocean's self-cleaning ability. Something on your mind again? Let's work through it together. Two heads are better than one. What they say is true. You have to see the world for yourself to appreciate how beautiful it is. We cannot just rely on the ocean's self-cleaning ability. self-cleaning ability. We cannot just rely on the ocean's self-cleaning ability.
Something on your mind again? Let's work through it together. Two heads are better than one. We cannot just rely on the ocean's self-cleaning ability. Just rely on the ocean's self-cleaning ability. Just rely on the ocean's self-cleaning ability. What they say is true. You have to see the world for yourself to appreciate how beautiful it is. Something on your mind again? Let's work through it together. Two heads are better than one.
If you're not sure what to do next, how about I take you on a walk? rely on the ocean's self-cleaning ability. We cannot just rely on the ocean's self-cleaning ability. self-cleaning ability. rely on the ocean's self-cleaning ability. We cannot just rely on the ocean's self-cleaning ability. Bye. 
what they say is true. You have to see the world for yourself to appreciate how beautiful it is. If you're not sure what to do next, how about I take you on a walk? We cannot just rely on the ocean's self-cleaning ability. What they say is true. You have to see the world for yourself to appreciate how beautiful it is. Okay. Well, all right. The batch. We are batch. <clears throat> Just going to put it back into English because right now I definitely need these things in English right now. Alright. Now we are good. Something on your mic. Out of four at the moment. All right. see. <clears throat> okay, so when it comes to wishes, as you can see, um, for Raiden Shodan, when she comes back, I'll definitely have everything ready for her. Uh, at least I think so. I don't know. Alright. Let's now, work together. To uh, I think I'm going to continue progress within the Porta uh, Fontaine area.
the only question that I have is uh, this what is this opera epiclass all right um, I think what I'm going to do is I'll go here, I think, to the North San Crisodo, because I think that's where um, Samar is going to encounter Pan. to have something stru stuck in my throat. <laughs> All right, we're almost there. So let's go here. I think that the most important thing is that I can't wait to see, I mean, to, yeah, to see some more expression. I mean, it's going to see Anne, or I mean, my, some part of Marianne. Because that's definitely how uh, they want you to, to perceive it. And I think that um, the downloading process of this actual place is going to take some time because apparently uh, when it comes to loading this particular place, um, well, it takes quite a long time as you can see. No biggie. Hopefully, this will be done now. All right. We are here. Unfinished story. Talk to Anne. What? Here we are, the Nausicentra's Ordo. Hmm. I remember this place. I know it. This is indeed the Nausicentra's Ordo. Right? We found this place previously as well. It's just look it's just like what happened with the book in the Anaposis. Hmm, that's right. We read and read and poof, we showed up in a totally different spot. That makes this place something like a secret base, isn't it? You don't even know where it really is either. Are you feeling more calm now, Anne? Eh? Yes, much better, thank you, Magnol. Oh, uh, should I drop that title? It's all fake after all. I mean, you can keep it. Don't say that, Anne. But... On the contrary. Your story has only just begun. Nimal's right, you know. We've still got a whole bunch of adventures waiting up for ahead of us. <clears throat> and how shall one proceed in peace of mind without a reliable man? Reliable man. Reliable knight at hand. Oh, lovely maiden. You're getting tired, Paimon. Come on. Paimon was just trying to encourage Anne. 
You're quite the knight yourself, Paimon. You're positive, and you've got a good heart. It makes me happy, truly. Oh, come on. Why are you getting so serious all of a sudden? You're just less powerful than Knight of the Mole, that's all. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Mm, everyone's got things they're good at. Limo's got a good brain and sword arm, and Paimon... Paimon... A... <laughs> you, you really are impressive, Paimon, see? You've, you've cheered Anne up already. Yes, you truly are impressive, Paimon. You two, and... And yeah, Paimon thought that you tried to tease her or something. You're weird. Yep, both of you. But that aside, didn't you say before that the Nazi Sankris Odo has deep links with the past, on? Huh? That's why you came here in the first place. Yes. However, my head's still a complete mess. That's true. Mm, I'm on those. Let's put what we just covered together real quick. When we were exploring the Anaposis. Uh, oh boy. Iron's head's a mess, mess too. Any ideas, Traveler? Why me? <laughs> um, let's discuss on. Right, paimon has been thinking about that too. Mary Ann said that your birth was a beautiful accident. What does that mean? I think it might simply be that my birth was a coincidence. Just as she, as she said, I am someone she dreamed of uh, before she took in the dream. The thing we experienced together were also part of the tale in the dream. If it hadn't been for you, that dream might never have ended. Or perhaps it might have ended, and I might have disappeared with her happily ever after. I can't be sure. That's true. Not that Paimon gets it. This means that Marianne is also a no in it. Huh? And Anne? was created from Mary Ann. Revelations upon revelations. Right, Paimon? Eh? Eh? Yeah. That's what I believe as well. And if that's the case, the things I remembered during our journey should have been her memories. Oh, so I think. Your knowledge and experience cannot exceed that of the main body. But when you met her, you also became your own entity. Without a main body to restrict and control you, that is, so become the master of your own fate. Her last words to me. Ooh, okay, Paimon gets it now. So that means that Petit Shu, Al, and the others are creations just like you, right? I believe that to be the case, yes. In that case, who was Marianne, really? This name is very familiar to me. But I cannot recall why, it's like some part of my body has been frozen. Any other thoughts? Uh, yeah, well, um, let's discuss um, uh, Princess Lyris. I think we're going to um, finish with the Nazi San Crisodo. I suspect that she was only ever a character in the story. In that tale, we needed to save her and defeat the fell dragon Narcissus. That was my original purpose. Oh yeah, wish. Yeah. All stories must have their own origins. Um, speaking of that, Arn, we've heard you mention a place called the Nazi Sankris Institute before. So if we go with Lemuel's logic, the Nazi Sankris Kingdom and Adventure Team might have their story's origin in the Institute and the Order, right? That is possible. Alright, so right now we'll finish with the Nazi Sankras Odo. Alright, I now have a lot of thoughts on the matter, memories and emotions. When those two children brought me here, it was a lovely place. Everything was new and shiny, just as before. They were vibrant vibrant and excited. Like the sunlight shining on the water. 
They told me that this was our new home, and that it brought many new friends, and that everything should be like they were before. But later, they changed. Some things stopped being the same, and the people here changed too. Although the Nazi Centuries Institute of old did not have sunlight, it was very warm. Yet this place grew even colder. And then, then, and huh? Anne looks like she's in pain, traveler. Oh, the mole. No need to push yourself. I'm sorry, my demo. As for the rest, each time I tried to recall it, I grow very frightened and very sad. This is the best I can do for now. I can sense that many terrible things happened here. I can sense many emotions, rage, terror, but also hope, trust and admiration. But all of them make me feel a strange sort of pain. And there are all sorts of shards and impurities embedded in my body. I don't want to. I can't. Alright, alright. Leave that aside first. There's no need to force it. The more you try to force yourself to remember, the less you'll be able to remember. Mm, it feels like we got our hands on some new clues. But then again, no. Actually, I've recalled something else. I've seen terrifying sights. The primordial waters, the amniotic fluid of the world, and the placenta devoured to the last. The world fell into utter darkness. Never again would the cool would the cool spring water flow. I saw that once. Or perhaps I saw that in the future. But wait a second. Which are you talking about? The past or the future? I don't know. Sorry, and thank you, Magnamal Paimon. Eh? Come on, it's fine. We said we were gonna help you. No, I, I truly am happy that the two of you are the first two friends I met since I became me. But that, you have my thanks. Pleased to have met you two, um. Yeah, why are the two of you being so formal? Isn't becoming friends something that just, you know, happens? And you called out to us and asked for help. And that was the most pime, the moment Paimon thought, that's right, you're our friend, I've gotta help you. Thank you so much, Paimon. Don't be like that, Han. If you really want to thank us, then keep your chin up and keep those spirits high. Yes, yes, you're exactly right, Paimon. Besides, I have your help. I shouldn't waste it by standing still. I must recall more and tell you all about it. Uh, not that you have to push yourself too hard to recall the past. There's a chance that I might be able to think of some lovely things. If I do, You'll be the first to know, Mag Lemon Paimon. Mr. Lemo, Mrs. Simor, hey! What were you doing all this time since we were, we were already talk talking? I know you had your calculations, but could you have just, like, you know, come to us in the first place? Before they had their heart to heart, right? <laughs> next, to, next to me? Okay. Mr. Lemol, Miss Paimon, I detect the notion it's biological signature. Yeah, that's on. Yeah, you finally woke up. Negative. My various previous clockwork cycles were spent collating fragmented data, data and searching for useful information. <sighs> Not that we're gonna be able to see any of the photos inside, will we? Affirmative. Ooh, yes, let Paimon introduce you. This is on. I notion it. And a friend of ours, Arn, this is... I know. You're the silly dart. Say more. Huh? I like... I like the relevant data. I do not believe we had the honor of missing pushing it on. I've never met you before, either. But I was sure of it the amount I saw you. You must be some more. Uh, what's going on here? This must be... No, I don't know either. It feels strange. Note, regular record space relation can decrease the frequency of such isu issues effectively. Anyway, let us bring you up to speed. You shed a little light on the matter so far. So, 
Seymour is searching for Marianne. Ah, no wonder that name, that name felt familiar. The person Seymour mentioned and is looking for is also named Marianne. Yeah, I know, Paimon. Note, regular retrospatialization can de de decrease the frequency of such issues effectively. Hey, uh, Paimon's had it with you, you silly dog. Hmm, if only to what Simo said before, they can't be the same Marianne, right? The timing. Based on your statement, may I deduce that you have met someone named Marianne in the past? Or perhaps read or heard about such a person from sources apart from myself? Well, that was a name, that's for sure. You know what? Let's do it like this. We can call the Marianne in the Anna poses Marianne 1, and the one you're looking for some more can be Marianne 2. Negative. The Mrs. Marianne I am searching for is of a higher sequential priority. To prevent confusion, she should be Marianne 1 instead. Huh? Why don't you look at it this way, Seymour? 2 is bigger than 1. Doesn't that make it pretty good too? Your claim. Sorting data fragments. Uh, let's likely stop functioning again. <laughs> Silly dog. Ooh, Paimon didn't think you had met any mean bows in you, Anne, but you sure do. <laughs> I don't know why, but I suddenly felt compelled to do that. Preliminary data fragment sorting complete. For the following 15 reasons, Ocean and Anne, I assess that your perspective is illogical. Firstly, Alright, alright, that stuff doesn't matter. Come, good, good daddy, sit. Understood. Why? <laughs> if, if you sit, we'll be able to improve photo dating stability, right? Yes. Do you need to take a photo, Ocean Pan? I'm equipped with the most advanced optics from the Bronte Institute of Natural Philosophy. I can. Oh, there's no need, but thank you. Understood. Wow! Simor's getting played left and right over here. Um, do you want to go to the Anaposis uh, some more? Yeah. Yeah, that, that way you can meet that Marianne and see if she's the one you're looking for or not. What, we, what you say makes sense, Paimon. Affirmative. A reasonable suggestion. Well then, let's go. Actually, Knight Lemo, Paimon, I don't think we'll need to trouble you this time. I can show some more the way. Um, are you sure you'll be fine? Yes, I know Simo's very reliable. Okay, we'll meet back here later, alright? How how far in the future are we going to be reunited? Is there, is there a way to get in touch with them? Like, I don't know. These pillars? Oh no. Doesn't seem like I can. Alright. But how then am I supposed to. to get it on top of these balconies over there? And what does that even mean? What is that? Does that, uh. that. That looks like a sword to me. Or at least more. I don't know. So they went to see Mary Ann. 
but I don't know. Are there any more things that I need to get the cold front thing? I'm sure there is, but I know how to get to them. Well, first we'll have to go to, rep to the uh, reputation. Uh, reputation sorted. Uh, see from the Mars Phantom, has something happened at the office? How come... What? Tanush, what kind of attitude is that? It's a chant. What about your attitude, Agent Telshar? I'm helping you with a problem here. Did I ask for your help? What are you two arguing about? What good timing. Help me explain. I'm Agent Telshar from the Marish Sea Phantom, investigating a case of the Stingbird. This amateur keeps interfering with my deductive process. I mean, just who is the investigator here? Well, it is kind of odd for an amateur to advise a professional. I was merely suggesting that she not jump to any conclusions. She's barely started investigating and she's already decided I'm the killer. It's defamation, I tell you. Uh, it does sound like defamation, but it's important to find the... Well, wait, killer? What happened? Um, it's possible that an not, not unfortunate newspaper employee has been... You know. Oh, it's so sad. What do you mean by you know? He's missing, that's all. Even if he's just missing, you're still mixed up in this, and that's because you drove him away, didn't you, Editor Jank? Let's paint the scene. An idealist, an idealistic young reporter finally gets a job with the newspaper of his dreams. He yearns to fight the evils of society with the power of his pen. But to his dismay, he discovers the newspaper is as corrupt as everything else, black of ink. Black of art. Valuable stories are ignored in favor of puff pieces about popular music. His ideals are met with lies, his dignity trampled upon. Oh, it's such a sad story. Until finally, one night, he awakes from a nightmare upon a tear sodden pillow and decides to flee the place that shattered his dreams. What are you, an investigator of a bold badge novelist? You're calling like a crow. Crow? Like a crow. So, Editor Jenge, is this truth behind his disappearance? You are his boss, are you not? Yet to deny all responsibility. Agent Talashar, your imagination knows no bounds. May I suggest you hand in your badge and take up a job at the newspaper? We also publish fantastical stories, you see. Fantastical? As if. My deductions are entirely plausible. Quite, quite plausible indeed. Agent Tendleshaw, let me clarify. The missing employee is Sir Arthur. Ring any bells? Sir Arthur? I haven't heard that name before. Sir Arthur is a steambird that Jesus timber its name. Our symbol, our masjid. Oh, that's Sir Arthur. The one who stands by the door, announcing the news? Yes. So... 
the steamer that can neither walk nor fly. I failed to see how I could have driven it away. Wait, blast you! Shouldn't you have mentioned that before? Do you have something against me? Look, you're the one who turned up and started accusing me of murder. If anyone has an axe to grind, it's you. Oh, do stop bickering. The important thing right now is to find Sir Arthur. Yes, I am on the right. Ah, Editor in Chief Freezy. Agent Curve, you've returned. Thank you for your help, Jinx. You may go now. Editor in Chief Freezy, hello. And who is this? Hello, Lemon Paimon. And this is. Hello, all. Oh, I am merely Curve, Agent Telesharad's assistant. Y you can talk? Like Sir Arthur? No, Agent Curve is a special investigation drone belonging to the Marshal Sifantum. He is remotely operated by someone back in the office. Isn't that the case, Agent Telesharad? Huh? Oh yes, yes, that's the case. I didn't know Fontaine had such an advanced technology. Well, unfortunately, this isn't time to bring you up to date on our advances, much as I would enjoy doing so. Right now, I need you both to help with getting Sir Arthur back. Huh? Us? You already got two professional investigators? Yeah, this is our case. Ahem. <clears throat> the thing is, Agent Dollarshot, neither of you are official investigators with the Marge Sir Phantom, are you? you? You watch what you say. This is a genuine uniform. I'll have you know. But, as I understand it, you were simply passing by and decided to start investigating all on, of, on, of your own accord. I can't imagine why. I wonder if I should speak to the Marshal Sea Phantom in. No, no. There's no need. Okay, I admit it. What? You were impersonating Marshal Sea Phantom agents? Well, to be honest, they're just agents who are a bit special. In any case, I'm grateful to, to Agent Curve. Who told me some very interesting things while we were interviewing the local residents. Curve, what did you tell her? As you know, Agent Telashar, the Moso patrols require me to answer all of Editor-in-Chief Euphrasy's questions honestly. The Moso protocols? Is that some kind of customer service agreement? <sighs> These are those pesky protocols. I don't mean to offend agents, but Sir Arthur is of great importance to the Steambird, and I would like to have more professionals on the case. Lemon Paimon, for example. You want us to join the investigation? Indeed I do, and on behalf of the Steambird, I promise you will be rewarded. What do you think? We're in. Excellent. I hope you will all work together. The newspaper will be most grateful. Okay. Just don't tell the Maison that we are on here on the sly. Wait, you're playing Hoochie? <laughs> hey, let the girl have her secrets, why don't you? Maybe when I know you better. Okay, Curve, if we're doing up, we should show them our notes. Please take these statements, which we took from nearby residents. Ooh, have you gotten leads then? Of course, we're good at our jobs. Okay. So, next we should investigate the scene. Sir Arthur disappeared last night, so there should still be clues to be found. Not last night? Residence Testimony 2. Testimony from a resident near the Steambird. A drunken vagrant. Oh, I know him. That's Roche. A sitting near the docks. He's always begging for a drink for, from the vendors there. Honestly, he wasn't like this before. Resident Testimony 3 Testimony from a resident near the Steambird If you're asking what about anyone suspicious I don't always see a little kid going to the newspaper But he never went inside He just moves you around near Sir Arthur Maybe he's just like toys like that And Testimony 1 uh, If you're asking about anyone suspicious I did often see a homeless drunk hanging around near the entrance of the paper's office Wherever Especially in this lately. world I roam, he seems to be sleeping I carry there memories every night. of my home. This blade. Uh, okay. It is the last link I have to the land of my birth. 
An empty, notch on the pedestal. An empty pedestal. If you look closely, you can see a notch left by a sharp implement. What's this? Based on the shape and depth, the mark here was made of by a small knife-like sharp object. So where's the knife now? Let's record this in our investigation notes first. Alright. Note on the pedestal. Note left behind by a sharp weapon, as though cut by a short knife or dagger. Okay. Uh, let me see this here. Messy footprints, a tangle of footprints with no consistent depth or pattern. Yeah, there's a lot of footprints here. Ah, uh, look at all these footprints. It's like quite a few people can buy. Based on these patterns, they belong to our four different people. Four different people, yeah. The paper has already put a lid on this news and isolated all non related individuals. As such, we can assume that these footprints were left behind during the crime itself. Let's recall this in our investigation notes first. So, footprints of different depths, with different patterns, intertwined and overlapping. They should belong to four different individuals. Okay. There are more. This bottle stinks and it smells fishy too. Mission retreat. This item is related to a resident testimony. Let's record this in our investigation notes first. Dirty empty wine bottle. A dirty empty wine bottle from which a strange smells smells wafts like a sea filled with salted fish. Alright, and I think this should be the last now. Commonly found button that shows signs of having yeah. Ah, the button doesn't look like there's anything special about it. Let's call this non investigation notes first. Simple button. Commonly found button that shows signs of having its red snapped. Wait, there's more? I do this, and I do this one here. So the scene is over that way. Nope, oh. didn't see this before. Letter sealed. No, oh, unsealed. Roger's desire to have it. I want to get it. What's with this letter? Let's record this in another situation. So this was the last item. Have you searched the entire scene? Are you sure you haven't missed anything? We got so much evidence. Footprints, a bottle, Paimon's brain is almost fried. Let's think, Lemo. Does this give us any leads? Maybe something that tells us what to do next? Okay. Uh, help Paimon sort through the current evidence. What useful clues are hidden here? How many people are associated with the disappearance of Sir Arthur? Well, this. Yeah, how many people? Uh, and, no. What about this? No. Can the suspect be found? Yeah, okay. 
So, trying to tell me that this... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright. Things are a bit clearer now, but Pamela's not sure anything we found is very useful. I want guess is the best thing is that favorite brochet. I agree. One set of footprints must be his, right? And it sounds like the most suspicious. Why so? Well, he's a vagrant, and vagrants are meant to wander about. But he stays in one place. He's definitely up to something. I guess that makes a uh, little sense. Trust me, I'm right. Let's go and check out the docks. Someone said they saw him there. And sealed later, yes, so that was the one I didn't see before. An envelope containing no particularly special information. If there's any information here, then it is that the letter within is already gone. And where is that place? Alright. Alright, alright. Let's have a look. Yeah, sometimes... Um, you will have a white loading screen and sometimes a black loading screen. It all depends. It all depends. Oh. Well. We are here again. the wind. Intrepid Valberry? Men, Roche has to be hiding with the hair somewhere. He owes so many. He owes, so he has to pay. Find him for me. As we see Paimon right over here, that corner here. <clears throat> and if, and as if not paying his debts wasn't enough, he's made me chase after him. I'm going to trash his place and break his legs. Interesting choice of color here. Free, free puppy. Oh, <laughs> what are you barging at? Ah, oh. stop! What are you doing? Who are you? Mind your own business. Accomplice of intrepid Valbury, Director Forty Two. Look at the uniform. They are the Marshal Phantom. Maybe we should fall back. I don't care about who they are. Still yourself, man. With me. Okay. <laughs> another test subject. Yep, another test subject, but you're going down either way. So Into the wind. Good. <sighs> Accomplice of intrepid Valbury. Director 42, the blonde one and the robot are difficult to handle. Blasted, mud. I slipped and fell. Just Roche got lushy. Okay, lads, move! I see you're fighting a little. I mean, obviously. Oh, that's nothing for him. Oh, no need to thank me, Pop. We're looking for your master. Does he owe people money? Hey, that's enough, Pop. Your master took Sir Arthur to pay off a debt, right? Spit it out. Where is it? Where is hiding? In my humble analysis, this line of questioning will fail due to language incompatibilities. 
the puppy that said to you, as if to say, yeah, obviously. Uh, then let's search, search the area. That thief must be here somewhere. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, pile of dirty, empty wine bottles. From which a strange smell went. Yeah. Those bottles who found one of those by the steambird. Yeah. Just going to take this. Take that as well. Hiding in the chest. D don't hit me. So yo, Roche. I don't have any more. A single coin. It's okay. We chased the debt collectors off. Oh, wonderful. And what show me your metal scenery you are. You are right, I am Roche. And when I make it big, I won't forget to reward you generously. Dream on, you thief. We are with the Marsh Safe Phantom, and we are here to arrest you. You stole Sir Arthur last night, did you? Confess. Who did you sell it to? Me? Stole Sir Arthur? By the Hydro Archon. Um, there's no more Hydro Archon. Does he know? Uh, as if a person of my standing would do such a thing. And I've been hiding the chest since yesterday evening. Oh, really? Jerv, what's the verdict? Biodata anomaly identified Mr. Identified. Mr. Roshi, you are lying. Me? Lie? Nonsense. Calumny. Slander. Where's the evidence? The bottle by the steambird. We found a bottle by the steambird, just like these ones. We left it there, right? Even if the bottles the bottle is the same, that doesn't mean I left it there. Why? A place the size of fountain must be full of drenches like me. Result replicated by the anomaly identify. Mr. Roche, you are lying. Hey, what's with this metal bucket? If I'm going to have my honesty and nobility smeared, I want an actual person to do it. Miss Shalin, listen here, thief. We're going to turn this place upside down and check it to see if any events falls out. So, no crying when we find something. Look then, look. Without real evidence, all you can do is insult me. He seems confident. Ragged old clothes from who knows where, emitting a large smell. Mm hmm, okay. Old photo. A pic. Okay. So, I suppose it has potential lover or a wife or something like that. I don't know. It should, yeah, the loving couple. Yeah, is this Roche and his wife? No, my sword. All right. Um. Without real evidence, all you can do is insult me. In 
information retrieved. This the Chinese sm sense of smell. That dog. All right. Well, feed feed puppy. My puppy looks at you as if waiting for something. And does he want something to eat? Uh, irrelevant. doing I know he must have recognized the scent the bottle must have Roche's scent on it Lombroso did you have to Roche see the dog recognizes your scent you still deny that you were at the newspaper office Roche calm down won't you Ambroso, you traitor. Ambroso wants his tail happily, as if saying, I don't understand, I'm sorry. Ah, okay, I admit it. Wow, Trev, you were spot on. How did you know? Well, a biological anomaly detected. Can the dead liars? Correct, Miss Paimon. Really? You're a lie detector? Hey, didn't we talk about trying to other people's private lives? Get to know us first. Hurry up and come clean, Roche. What did you do? That's my private life, isn't it? How dare you. Fess up, or you'll be enjoying plenty of privacy in the fortress of Meripede. No. Okay. I admit I've told a few tiny li little lies. I admit I've told a few tiny little lies. But I didn't steal Sir Arthur. Honest. I slept by the steambird's entrance last night, that's all. When I went to sleep, Sir Arthur was there, but my old trap was gone, and I was worried people would suspect me, so I ran. It's not the full story, isn't it? We've been told that you've been seen there a lot lately, planning your heist, no doubt. It's not true. I was hoping to get some work there. You know, thought of picking up litter, maybe some bitwit might spot your potential and then Whoosh, your career takes off. Seems like you were the one causing the lizard with your stinky wine bottles. That's not going to impress any big wits, that's for sure. I don't believe it. He's lying again. It's true. Let me, let me finish. I know how I look now. I used to work at the Palemonia. Well, it was my wife that got me the job. The family used to be a big deal and they still have some connections. Anyway, I used to be respectable. Really? I'm not sure which is worse, begging for food or relying on your wife. Don't say that. I wanted to become successful under my own steam, honestly. That's when the problem started. A while back, some people offered to let me in on their business. Don't worry about, don't worry about startup funds, they said. You can owe us, so I signed up. But I soon realized that the goods they were giving me were unsellable garbage, and then they started demanding I pay what I owed them. Were those, were those the people who were here? Yeah. I didn't have any choice but to pawn things from home to get some money, but I didn't realize that what I'd taken belonged to my wife, something her grandfather left her. When she realized this, I was too scared to tell her the truth, so I said that I'd lost money grand gambling. She was first and threw me out. Huh? Why not tell the truth? Maybe she'd have forgiven you if she'd known. Hm. What does this guy know about telling the truth? If he claims he lost it gambling, he could blame bad luck. If he lost it on the bad business deal, he'd have to admit that to being a good-for-nothing loser. But what does this have to do with the newspaper? A month ago, the Steambird reported on the team of scammers, yelling at the table where conferee. Those were the people who conned me. Professional con artists. Wow. 
Steamboat is pretty good at their job, huh? I know. That's why I wanted to work there. It would have been a respectable job, and I could have earned enough to get my wife's things back. <laughs> Curve, is that true? Bioderta has returned to normal rage. Mr. Roche is not lying. Huh? So it really wasn't him? So, did you see anything suspicious last night? I did. I was woken up by some noise, and I think I saw someone. Someone very small, running away. That's suspicious, right? Someone small? The statements from the resident's mansion, a young boy, could be him? Where would we find him? If only we had a, we had a puppy to show us the way again. Lombroso oh, oh, oh. wants his tail happily. And it's always being talked about. Now that you mention it, Lombroso has an excellent sense of smell. Why don't we see if we can pick up scent? Plan was not sure it will work, but it's worth a try. Okay, let's see. Uh, choose the evidence. Think. Where's he going? Quick, follow that puppy. Alright. Let's follow the puppy. Where are you going? Have you... you smell something? That's... Where? Good boy. The puppy has stopped. Did the owner of the bottom live nearby? Look, there's someone at home in that house over there. Let's go ask. Could be from me. After some time, you arrive at a certain spot with Lombroso. Yeah, is it from me? No, it cannot, it cannot be from me. Into the wind. Just like moment, that other one. It's not my dad, Kevin. And then. Okay. I don't know anything. Also, I hate you all. Don't run, Kevin. <sighs> Sorry to interrupt. You, what do you guys want? Don't worry, Madeline. Oh, madam. We are agents from the Marshall Sea Phantom, and we are investigating a theft. A button linked to your family was found at the scene. Do you have any comments? Oh, I sued that on for Kevin just recently. But Kevin's a good child, he couldn't possibly be mixed up in theft. I knew it. Madam, I regret to say you have raised a thief. Please be reasonable, Agent. Given that this is Chevin's button, all that proves is that he was at the newspaper office. And why would he be there if not to steal? Uh, did you just say newspaper office? This is not the Steambird. Yeah, how did you know that that's where the theft happened? I... no. You must have misheard me. Oh, the newspaper office, yes, at the scene room, okay. Ironclad, irrefutable evidence. Don't try and lie your way out of this. You'll only make things worse for you and for your son. No, my son didn't mean to steal anything. He only took that knife to defend himself. Knife? I thought we were looking for a mechanical steam bird. You mean Sir Arthur? But Jevin only had a knife when he came home. Madame Madeline. Why did your son go to the newspaper? What did he do there? Tell us everything. 
Oh, uh, my chief interest the door that Steinberg outside the newspaper office. Every time we go into town, he goes to visit it、uh, and tells all his troubles. Yesterday, yesterday, yesterday evening, we had a bit of a fight, and Peter Jeffers stormed off from the newspaper office. But this time, he came back with a knife. He said it found it stuck in the steamboat's pedestal. So that explains a notch. But why did he take the knife? He said he noticed that Sir Arthur was missing, and wanted to find it. But then some drunken men staggered towards him. He got scared and picked up the, the knife. Should we see the knife? I told him to get rid of it. I was worried it might cause trouble. The knife should be a clue. We need to ask Kevin where it is. I wish you could, but he's run off again. We are doing a lot at the moment about his father. You see. His father is a mechanical engineer posted outside the city. Kevin hasn't seen him for a long time. He's having a bit of an early rebellious phase. He's furious with his father for not being here. Problem child, huh? Not easy to deal with. Still, we'll need to find him and ask about that knife. Gee. There's no way Kevin would ever steal anything. You never know. Let's go out and have a look. Nope. Before I do this, do that. Uh, do you think? It's failed. Let's start again. At least now I know how to do things. All right. So first off, this thing here. Then this.、Uh, This. Wait, wait for it. Oh, why? Why? Why did it run into the barrels? First time I did right, so I、go. don't know. Maybe, maybe、uh, I have to do this. Okay. Maybe if I angle it a bit more. Okay. Now. Okay. Brings a smile to my face. That's how we do things. That's number one in the books. Oh, he's right here. <laughs> oh, my God! Yeah. Come on, blast beats. Eat me if you can. Eat me. Time to go. Why are you making such an unholy racket? You, you might want to try saying thanks, 
just saved you. Thanks. <laughs> What's up? Why is the angry face? You gonna hit me? Jed, a fun thing would do you good. But we are professionals, nurses and phantom agents, you see? We don't beat people in public. But we do need to ask you some questions. If you keep anything from us, we'll have to take you in. And then, well, we won't be in public, will we? Take me in? Sure, go ahead. And take him in, too. Uh, him? Who's that? Boland. That's his name. Should arrest him, too. Is he our criminal, then? Yes, he's a criminal. And my so-called father, sure. She hasn't even been home in a year. Arrest him for bad parenting. Ah. No wonder Madame Madeline said this guy used to complain to Sir Arthur. I'm on guesses that's the root of the problem. Complain? <laughs> that's a laugh. I was working out how to set, it, to set up speech prod patterns. You haven't realized, I guess, that Rivian says programmed in advance. As soon as I figure out how to do that, I'm going to program him to say Bolon's the big fat weasel all day, every day. Wow. That's some, that's some problem kid, alright? So that's why you were hanging out next to Sir Arthur? Wow, oh, you really are a problem child. Yes, yeah, that's what I thought. But Sir Arthur disappeared last night, so I won't be able to finish my research. I don't know who took him. Don't think I took Sir Arthur, do you? Sure, I'm a problem child. But still in mechanical steambird isn't one of those problems. In my humble analysis, Mr. Jevin, you have come into contact with a knife. Wait, this robot in speech? How does it do that? Is it the same as Sir Arthur? Shows how much you know. Curve is much more sophisticated than Sir Arthur. For a start, it doesn't need to be told what to say. Then you Wow, you're so Awesome, Curve. Hey, can you say something for me? Say, Boland is a big fat weasel. I know you can do it. First, you must prove that said statement is true. Prove it? What the? So that means you can't do it? You suck. Even, even Sir Arthur could say that. Do not confuse Curve with others. He's a liar. <laughs> well, I was going to tell you about a knife if he said it, but he didn't, so the deal's off. Listen, brat, I don't think you understand. If we find Sir Arthur, you can carry on with your plan to slander your father, right? We're on the same side here. Oh, that, that makes sense. So, okay, I'll tell you. I threw the knife into the sea. I'll mark the spot on your map. Now hurry up and find Sir Arthur. That's more like it, kid. Is there anything else you should tell us? The more we know, the faster we can find Sir Arthur. Let me think. I went to the steamboat, but Sir Arthur wasn't there. Instead, there was that knife. Then the drunk man came at me, so I panicked and grabbed the knife to frighten, to frighten him off, and that's it. So that's what happened. Jared, did you spot any problems? In my humble analysis, Mr. Trevin is not lying. But I didn't notice anomalies with Madame Madeline's pupil dilation and breathing earlier. Was she like? I am unable to confirm that. It was, however, a data fluctuation when she told us that his father's mechanical engineer posted outside the city. Haha, <laughs> I can explain that. She was lying. Pop doesn't know spring up from Spanner, as if it couldn't be an as if it could be an engineer. My mother's a very experienced liar. She practices on me every day, you see, so you wouldn't be able to tell. Until a while ago she brought a puppy home. Said it was a present from my father. Last night I looked at her letters and it was from some other man. Well, maybe that man is your new father, alright? Congrats, Jid. Mm, I might not like what you say, but at least you're being straight with me. I wish my mother would do that. You've been done well on that. Your mother's just trying to protect you. She's worried you won't be able to cope if you have to deal with too much all at once. I don't want to know. It's, not, it's knowing things that causes all my problems. No, no, it's the exact opposite. Your problems come from not knowing enough. Not knowing enough? Oh, wait a sec. 
Wait a sec. I wondered what... I wondered what was wrong with this, but now it made sense. <laughs> okay. Um, for example, you still don't know what humans lie constantly. Your mother, your father, even you. That's the answer to your problem, Chid. And when you realize that, you'll stop having such high expectations, and you'll be a Chid with answers, not problems. Uh, answers? I, I'm, uh, I'm feeling kind of attacked. Oh, do you disagree? Unless you've never ever told even a single lie. Forget it, I don't need to know the answer. I rather like you right now, so let's not spoil this beautiful moment. The important thing is to find a knife. We've got to go right. You've got to go, Chid. Think about what I said about and you'll find the answers you need. Don't listen to her, Kevin. Listen to Paimon. Go home and have a good talk with your mom. She lied to you, it's because she had a good reason. I know, maybe I should go home. Troublesome, Chid. Troubles. Take care of your problem, right? Who wants to take care of a kid? Yeah. Troublesome kid. Problem child really found the answers he needs. Kevin is back home. This can't go on. Isn't it time to tell him? Well, he sold your problem, alright? I want to be uh, going through them myself. I've already had so much to deal with, and so little time left. So, this is where Kevin got rid of the knife. My mom thinks it's time to get wet. Okay. I could, but Kurt can't go underwater, unfortunately. And I need to stay here with him. Sorry, I guess it's all up to you. You know what? We've already met a robot dog and he could swim. And say more? I wonder if this curve isn't that advanced. How dare you suggest curve is less advanced than Dodge? He's just not feeling very well. What was the Dodge's name anyway? When curve is better, we'll have a competition and see who wins. Oh, someone's being unnecessarily competitive. In my humble opinion, we should be looking for evidence. Never mind, let's do dive in the new clues. Yeah. I need clues. I'm just going to pick that up. Thank you. Please. Thank you. Now, let's talk to them a bit. I'm, I'll also summon uh, the wave rider. Where is it? Not right here. Alright. Trevor, sure, how are you feeling today? Lovable temperature, below warning light. Core cool functionality 20%. Not much lower than yesterday. Give it up, Curve. Alright, we're roaming on the boat. Roam, row, row, row the boat gently down the stream. What is this? Down the stream. Oh. Come. Come on. Move. Treasure is concerned. Right. 
Now it's time to dive. Row, row, row to bottom, downstream. So far, so good. This. Nothing here either. Looks like we've got to look elsewhere. Nothing here either. Uh. Nope. I saw that one here. I'm going to take this all here. Alright. Water stain, dinner knife. Water stain table knife, it seems to be a piece of high quality silverware, but for some reason it shows signs of rusting. Uh, what was that, um, that whirlpool? Where was it again? It was right there, but I didn't, I didn't see. I mean, I not entered that whirlpool because I didn't know what was supposed to be there. Yeah, it was just uh, some sort of a little Easter egg to say that, yeah, maybe the current was. Uh, a factor in this specific uh, loss of the knife. Maybe it went elsewhere. Return to shore. I know what to do. A shark curve, we got a knife. Here, take a look. Uh huh, huh. This could match up with a notch on the pedestal, but just an ordinary table knife. Why would any criminal carry out one like that? Uh, maybe they ate at a restaurant and stole a knife there and dropped it at the scene of the crime? I think your detective skills one point out of a thousand. 
Relevant information retrieved. Month ago, the Steamboat exposed a case of fraud involving the elegant tableware conferee. The elegant, the elegant tableware conferee. Oh, I remember that. A knife like this was part of the evidence gathered. Ha! They must be responsible. There you go again with the must be responsible. Really? We can head back to the office and confirm it. Got enough time left today. Huh? I thought you two weren't really investigators. Can you really check up on other cases? Okay, I guess we're kind of friends now, so I'll tell you. I'm an evidence clerk with Mercy Phantom. As such, getting a piece of evidence from the stores is easy peasy. What? Is that even a job? So, curve is. evidence, indeed. Wow, the evidence is running around solving cases? And why not? You aren't even evidence, but you're doing the same. But didn't Editor-in-Chief of your phrase say something about Curve being remotely operated? She was helping mate in Curve's cover. He seemed to know his story, which is that he's a lie-detecting robot. It's hard to believe. How come Pine was never heard of something that incredible? Because he's been stuck in the evidence storeroom. Curve is a vital piece of evidence in a case dating back 30 years. Oh, so you, are you secretly investigating that shocking crime to identify the true perpetrator? As if my life stand sighting, just got bored and decided to take Curve out for a walk. And that's it? Curve, what do you think? Biodata anomaly identified. Agent Talashad, you are lying. Oh, uh, well, I was just saying I was starting to lie to you, and now you're using the most supernatural loopholes against me? The what for trolls now? You mentioned those earlier something, didn't you? My great creator, Dr. Moso. My great creator, Dr. Moso? Added some rules to my core programming to ensure... Oh, so... Sure, it's dark energy. Added some rules to my core programming to ensure the accuracy of my light detection. Those rules require me to insert all questions with complete accuracy and honesty. So you can detect a lie, but not tell one. And if someone asks you a question, you're obliged to answer it? Correct, Miss Paima. What clever rules. So is this Musu guy some top scientist of the Adifantin Research Institute? He was a top scientist until he passed away. He died 30 years ago and Turf became evidence. He died? How? Relevant information retrieved. The Musu died in a duel, attempting to prove his innocence. After a court found him guilty. Why was he found guilty? All the information retrieved 30 years ago. Stop, stop! Keep asking questions. And if you keep asking questions, Turk has to keep answering them. Our priority should be finding Sir Arthur. And turn to you, Frazier will be too upset to eat if we don't find him. I don't find that unlikely. Well, well, anyway. Trev and I are going to see what we can find out about that knife. Let's meet first thing tomorrow at the Palinomonia. If I was a choice, couldn't you indulge her this way? We'll indulge you tomorrow. How about make you a delicious breakfast? Oh, breakfast. Okay, looking forward to it already. <laughs> I'm on in food. <sighs> see you tomorrow morning then. Okay, we're gone. At this. You say, okay, we've gone, but they're still here. What are you talking about, Paimon? Paimon can't help but feel there's something going on on there, and though. Best not to stick your nose into other people's private lives. Yeah, it's been a busy day. We should go get some rest. We'll meet them at the Paladin Pneumonia tomorrow. Vagrants and scans completed. The red and the black. Alright, so now I'm going to uh, go back. No, no, not here. What am I talking about? Uh, just here. I need to get this, these reputation points. Alright. 
So now that I'm back. Back to here. How's my reputation, you crazy? Even though we haven't found Sir Arthur yet. Inspiration progress forty per cent acquired. Nice forty three per cent exploration done with the Fontaine region. Oh, yeah, in the whole of Fontaine. How many? Birthday. Okay. Wish fulfilling treasure hunt. Expect to fly. First. Wild fair of Aranis. This we do have. Uh, this one here we do have as well. Okay. So that. And now. We can get our crystal fly trap. So let's climb this. A crystal fly trap developed by a senior researcher named Fawitsky from Fontaine Research Institute of Kinetic Energy Engineering. After being properly deployed and inserting the required materials, this device will start working and lure crystal flies inside. Fawitsky once led research on low temperature lighting devices, which required a large amount of crystal cores as research materials, which led to the development of the crystal fly trap. However, the project was suspended for various reasons. We are here to commemorate the diligent Mr. Fawitsky. We sincerely hope that there are those who will carry on his research. The Institute will provide maximum support in any areas deemed appropriate. Okay. So the next feature that we will get is the name card. I can't wait for that one. Uh, the fruity, fruity trial, a trio, and the discounts in the merchants of Tibet. What is this though? Wind powered wind generator. Uh, after being activated, this device can provide a strong lifting force for the wind ladder user. Okay. Genius and Christian CCG. Bessie Chichen. These two. And that name card, big news. The Hydrocles was in stone. The, tre the treasures. And of course, the winds of merciful, wrathful waters. I need those. It's not going to be today, unfortunately. Oh, crystal fly trap. After you place your crystal fly trap and put specific materials inside, it will begin operation bait crystal flies into itself. After a certain period of time, you will be able to retrieve crystal cores from with it. Just the moment for that, but thanks for telling me either way. Okay, so I just want to check real quick um, for the archives specifically. The two new two agents, elite two agents that we got. So we had the Hydra Tulpa. This one is a big boy. Uh, tainted water spouting with phantasm, chasm, and tainted water splitting with phantasm. Alright. We have the sha 
uh, just go and breach Primus. Primus. But we had the ubiquit. All right then. All right. So as for the fatuis, fatusa, we have the uh, wind operative. So I didn't. It reminds me. Wait, wait. It reminds me of. Uh, Of the Tori for the mask specifically. Yeah. It sounds like some sort of uh, uh, the wind pillager type as well with this shape here. Let me see. Uh, an elite agent among the Fatui. Operatives have no ordinary military rank among the Fatui. Based on their orders and the content of their missions, they chain work in concert with all the soldiers, work alone, or in tandem with the attacks hidden and scattered across the world. They spy, conduct counter espionage, protect, assassinate, and conduct other tasks. In order to effectively carry out missions of a more special nature, operators also need to master all kinds of other skills and even various arts and talents. All right, and the frost operative. It's like an Anubis mask, but this time around, the Anubis mask is cryo. I like the design, though. An elite agent among the Fatui, selected while selected while still children. Can only become an operative after many long years of training and teaching, after countless rounds have winnowed the field. They are the most outstanding soldiers among the Fatui, with extraordinary skill and unswerving loyalty. Alright. Final Geo Bishop. Right. Sure, we see here the old devouring novel, though. That was something. My Gatsu Mitake Narutami no Mikoto. And that is Guardian. Guardian of a Pep's Oasis. Shoji no Chai the Prodigal. La Signora, obviously. Uh, Emperor of Fire and Iron. Okay. So I haven't yet registered the unit with this Baptist things. Maybe this will be the the Wolf Lord. I uh, haven't fought yet, uh, and this it's one of the the knights. This is a husk, husk. Yeah, so this one is the wind turtle, so that might be another uh, black serpent knight that I haven't fought yet. Who is the at the same level as this as this guy? But I don't know who that is. Yet. Uh, 
You need that one, but I don't know where that one is. Naturally, Otter. This one is so cute. I'd say. As for the fish, yeah, well, fishing is not what something that I'm excited about. In Genshin, to be honest. Sub detection unit. And there's one here that I haven't got yet. But apart from that, um, well, lads and ladies around the world. I think that this will conclude um, our stream for the day. I hope, well, apart from all the craziness that happened uh, near, I mean, middle of the stream, uh, I hope you had an amazing time with me today. Uh, and I really hope that uh, you uh, will be excited about the other streams I'll be following this one in the future. If you liked it, please make sure to leave a follow on the video or give it a like -life balance, on YouTube when this, is this, it. when this video ultimately goes, on, goes up on YouTube. And uh, yeah, uh, with that said, guys, this has been Forever Essen. You've been amazing, and I'll see you all in the next stream. Bye guys.